Chat, we're good. We're good. We're not good, but we're good. Okay, now. Welcome back to the show. Happy Friday. No time for drops. Actually, there's lots of time for doing a longer stream. Oh. Oh, we are good. Oh. What is going on, dudes? Thank you guys for tuning into the stream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Friday. Uh, thank you for being here. End of the week is here. Weekend is tomorrow. Are we excited? It's always time for a drop. True. True. I am absolutely fucked, MQ. I'm absolutely fucked. There's no way in hell we could do a 12 hour today. I'll explain what happened here in just a second, but we have an extra strong coffee this morning that we're trying to get down as soon as possible. This is the only way we're going to get through the day. The only way. Mmm. So, um, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Today was supposed to be a marathon stream, um, as I did say. But we'll explain what happened here. Um, no, I saw on Twitter people talking about Fallout. I don't know what was going on with all that. I'm not really a big Fallout person, so I didn't really didn't really understand it. Um, 
So yeah, today was supposed to be a 12-hour marathon. That has been pushed back to Monday, so Monday that will happen. Uh, essentially, last night was a disaster. Uh, might be the worst night's sleep I've ever had in my life. Uh, I didn't get... To, I, I got in bed just after midnight. Expected to go to sleep about 1 o'clock like I usually do. Uh, and I didn't fall asleep until just before 6 a.m. And my alarm went off at 10 to 8 in the morning. So... I managed a grand total of one hour and 50 minutes of sleep. Ex excluding the going back to sleep. I tried to wake myself up with 15, uh, you know, 10, 15 minute intervals of alarms, but it wasn't happening. Um, essentially what happened is last night at about half past nine. About a little bit before that, it was about nine o'clock. I had work to do. I had a lot of work to do. And I was falling asleep at my computer. So I was like, I've got to get shit done. I need to wake up. Uh, and so I thought, I'll go make myself a coffee. So I went and made a coffee. That didn't really do a lot. So I went and made another one. I was like, right, that'll do. I've got about four hours before I go to bed. It should be fine. So, no, this needed to be done. So there was no going to bed. I had to just crack on. So, however... I decided to try this new coffee that I've bought instead. Uh, and after I've had this, I'd had the second cup, you know, like 10 minutes later or so, I started feeling, oh, you know, I'm coming back around here. Uh, I didn't realize how long the effects of caffeine of a coffee last. Uh, I googled it when I was in bed and couldn't sleep, but it's four to six hours. Which you think might be fine, but that was for one cup. So... Didn't, no matter what I did, no matter what, I have all kinds of breathing exercises to make you tired, all kinds of ways to reduce oxygen in your blood to make you drowsy, everything like that, nothing worked. My whole body was asleep, except my brain and my head. Um, and it was a case of tossing and turning for six hours until I finally dozed off at about six in the morning. So that was what happened. So, I'm having another cup of that now to now try and wake me up. But there was no chance in hell that I was doing a 12-hour show off of an hour and 50 minutes of sleep. So, it's been pushed back to Monday. Yeah. That's why I can't drink caffeine after midday because I can't sleep. Well, usually I'm okay. I've got these like, little sachets that I usually have. Usually I'm fine. I had four of those one evening, quite happily, banging out some work at like nine o'clock sort of time, similar time. I had four of those, finished my work about one in the morning, went to bed, no problem. But this new stuff, fucking hell. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the hell's in this shit, but there's a hell of a lot of caffeine, apparently. So, that's a lesson learned. This coffee is a no-go after... Uh, Midday. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a lesson learned. So, apologies to no marathon today. That'll be uh, Monday. Monday. Uh, I mean, my brain was running with all sorts of things anyway. So, I'm always thinking about a million different things at once. But... I was in bed, I was tired, and I wanted to sleep, and I was like, I'm going to sleep. My whole body was asleep. I had relaxed my whole body, it was just chilling, and just, no matter what, I, I could not go to sleep. Um, and yeah, and that was that. So, it was, uh, it was a rough night last night, and I feel like shit today, but we're going to have a good stream. Uh, to make up for the fact we're not doing a marathon today, we are going to do a bit of a longer stream today. I don't know how much longer, but we're going to go a bit longer. Maybe an hour, maybe two hours, I don't know. So, you've got me for a while today uh, to make up for that. Um, and the marathon will be on Monday instead for 12 hours. Um, I'm also not here on Sunday. I thought I was, but I'm not. Um, so, it's also going to make up for the fact we won't be here then either. So, yeah. Coffee doesn't really help keep me awake anymore. Well, I like I say, I, I usually if I was working in the office downstairs on my like, other business stuff... It'll be like 9 o'clock at night, I'll have 3 or 4 cups, I'll be fine, it'll keep me awake till 1, I'll go to bed, happy days. 
But whatever this new shit is, fucking hell. Two cups of this was a bad idea. Uh, and the back recommended uh, one to two teaspoons, and naturally that means two and a half. So I had five teaspoons of this coffee stuff, and yeah, I was my head was just flying. Um, but I was exhausted. It was it was really weird. Uh, I I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what it is, so I just grabbed it out of the cupboard. What crappy incident did you go from? Actually, no, I do know that. Um, is it Kenko? K-E-N-C-O? Kenko, maybe? Um, I think it's Kenko. They are quite nice, to be fair. They're, like, plant-based. They've got, like, um, made of, like, oats and almonds and stuff like that. And then obviously, they've got the coffee in there as well. But this stuff is just pure instant coffee. And it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Anyway, uh, let's do some hellos. We're going to have a good stream regardless. If you're out there you're not lurking in the darkness, please say hello in the chat. I say hello back. We are going for 112 on the streak, so we shall see how we get on with that. If we do hit 150, that's a 15-hour marathon, I owe you. The good news in this discovery, because there's always a silver lining. There's always a silver lining. Should we do a marathon stream in the future, and we're struggling towards the end of it, whether we've been live 12, 16, 20 hours, or whatever. A couple of cups of this stuff, we're going to be doing a 48-hour. So, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Anyway. Good morning. Kanga, how are you? Brock, good to see you. MCO. My, my eyes actually hurt to have them open. It's not good. Uh, Brock, how are you? MCO, Mischievous, Keb, Camster. Uh, Ayla, Kate, good to see you. MCZ, Weeble, Blue Knight, Zakona. I'm hoping this coffee kicks in ASAP. Um, Marv, how are you? Aronic, uh, Deccan, Gadatron, Kremi, Rubber Duck, JP Tech, Curly, good to see you guys. Um, Beth Holes, Danielino, Zerum, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. If I did miss you, I know you're lurking in the darkness. Uh, let's play some video games. Let's hop on him. Put your glasses on, and don't strain your eyes. No, I'm just, I'm just tired. Like they just, they just want to just close. <laughs> Go back to sleep. <laughs> so, in total, I mean, it, my, I just kept setting alarms. So, my hour and 50 minutes was uninterrupted, but everything else was just little 10 minute bursts. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a wreck, but hopefully, this coffee will kick in soon and we'll wake up and we'll be, we'll be flying. That was my flying stance. <laughs> Uh, JRD with the 2 million bits. Thank you so much, mate. Talk to me. Want to start the day off right? Sure. I once had a dream I was floating in an ocean of orange soda. It was more of a fantasy. <laughs> That's an oldie but a goodie. It's an oldie but a goodie. I'll give you a solid 7. Thank you for the 200 bits, mate. I appreciate it. If it was original, it would have been an 8, but it was, it was an oldie but a goodie. Uh, so we finished the cow farm yesterday. These guys all uh, are doing their thing now, which is glorious. Um, this is basically done. The only thing I kind of want to do is hook up the lava to like a single button that's like here. Uh, I think we probably could go under the floor, you know, but... Uh, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I don't mind just going bam, bam. I mean, some of these will probably, I don't know, grow before the others. These staircases I wanted to replace because stone looked like crap. Why is this light on and that one's not? And his name is Matrixer! Whoa! Now! Oh. It's Pasiba! There we go. I must have just clicked. Ah! Holy fucking shit! Spasima with the 2,369! Biddies! Holy moly! What a way to start the day. Thank you so much. Very closely followed by Kev with the 180. Thank you so much, mate. Level 2 on the train. Dear Lord, what a way to start the day. But yeah, I'm hoping this coffee kicks in and we can get a nice... Whoops. I'm hoping this coffee kicks in soon and we can get a nice, I don't know, five, six hour show in today, something like that. That'd be the ideal scenario. So, fingers crossed. We're going to power through, and that's what you, uh, you're going to get. 
Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, thank you very much. It was nice for a moment. Uh, what would it have been? I don't even know. God, I like death. Shit. I just turned the camera off. Chat, we might have to do a camera to stream. I look awful. I need to wake up fast. Coffee. More coffee. Get it in the veins. There's no way in hell we could do a 12-hour stream today. No way. Doss, thank you so much for the biddies, mate. Filling up the cup. Grey is the only way, baby. Um, I mean, it's probably not an awful idea, Curly. Would have been 2569. I mean, it's 2769 now. <coughs> no, it's been pushed back to Monday, Maddie, because I... I had probably the worst night's sleep I've ever had in my life last night. Totally one hour and 50 minutes. It was awful. And I'm exhausted, so it'll be Monday. But we are going to do a little bit of a longer stream today. I just need to fucking... I need maximum coffee in my fucking blood. I won't be good. Um... Can you join? Uh, yeah, the IP's right there, man. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Just try. I, I, Maddie, you're supposed to say, I'm sorry to hear you slept like shit, Jack. It's okay. I still love you. It'll be fine. Uh, you'll be back in full force again soon. I can't wait until Monday's 12 hour. That's what you're supposed to say. Not boo. Chug some energy drinks. I don't have any energy drinks. Coffee is vastly superior to energy drinks in every single way, shape, and form. Um, level two with two minutes to go as well. Spasiba, thank you for the 20. Brock with the one. Ruining the 69. Thank you for the support, guys. We're fucking well over halfway already. We've been live for 30 minutes. Uh, it's exclamation my IP in the chat, mate. US dot not, um, getting dot it. I remember when Maddie loved me. Good times, man. Now I'm just a disposable friend. A disposable friend. Oh! JP Tech! We need to talk to you immediately. Tier 2 out of your mind for 53 months. I did say on the stream the next day, but I don't know if you were here for that. Holy fucking shit. You might be the biggest hero the channel's ever seen. Thank you so much for the tier 2, but coming in the other day with your 5,000 biddies when the internet dropped and the power all went out and everything went funky. Thank you so much, mate. I appreciate it. You made me spill my coffee. What? How? What? What has that got to do with me? Uh, Brock with the ones. Proceed with the 99. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Brock's about to be banned. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Uh, it's proceed with I appreciate it. Kang with a hundred. Thank you so much. Level three on the train. All the love this morning. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Because I was busy talking to you and it knocked over me. <laughs> so I am to blame for mere association. Yeah, I appreciate it, JP. You're the fucking man, dude. Thank you so much for the tier two out of your mind as well. 53 months. What a G. Almost at your sick Twitch baby. Legend. Thank you so much, pal. Duh. Wow. What's going into Maddie today? She's woke up out of bed and just decided to choose violence. She's woke up on the side of bed and decided, you know what? I'm going to choose violence and bully Jack today. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Luckily, I'm British. I'm thick skinned and I can take it. Uh, Brock with the three, specifically with the 95. Brock with the nine. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Math. Yeah, math is hard. So, uh, chat, here's my button top tip of the day. Choose friends who are kind, loving, caring. Have your best interests at heart. 
But also have a healthy balance of friends that will tell you to get a fucking grip and get on with your shit. Like that. They're good people to have in your life, despite them feeling quite mean. It's with a 788. Damn. Thank you so Hooray. much. Hooray. Hooray. Hey, his name is Matrixes. Butter blues, butter yays, butter the chat. For the streak. For the streak. Kate, thank you so much it's... for the thousand biddies. JRD with the 200 biddies. Uh, I just found out I'm colorblind. The news came out of the orange. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that that made me laugh. 7.3. Thank you for the 200 bits. Um, you're in car shopping tomorrow. That's exciting. I want to come car shopping. Where's my invite to come car shopping? Let's go get some credit cards from the bank. I just spunk all of it on a new car. That sounds like fun. Uh, Pony, two years. God damn. Bosh, thank you so much. We're on level four of a hype train Hooray. as well. We've got to update the streak. 112, chat, we've been live for 36 minutes. What the fuck? Thank you all very, very much for the support. There it is. Already, Spasima taking the number one spot on the leaderboard as well. Enjoy your gold medal. Taking it from Hot Rod. He's going to be fucking pissed when he finds out about that. Thank you very much, Spasima. That's unbelievable. Kind of Thank you, everybody, with the 100 bits, the few biddies here and there trying to ruin the bar. Um, Kate with a thousand biddies. Uh, just all the love. Thank you very, very much. It really doesn't uh, mean a lot. Thank you. Uh, marathon is postponed to Monday. Um, but yeah, we'll be we'll be live Monday for 12 hours of button. Who can't wait for that? Probably not Maddie, she's a fucking meanie. Hi, Velda, how are you? Oh yeah, that's a lot of baby cows. We got a shiny new button. How exciting! I hate car shopping because I have no. Because I have no dude to come shopping with me, so you're scared of being ripped off. Yeah, you got to be a little bit careful with that. I mean, honestly, your best bet, Ozzy Melly, load up something like Auto Trader. I, I, if you know what you're getting. Why isn't there is. a pregnant Barbie doll? Ken came in another box. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits, Holes. I appreciate it. Two minutes left on the train. Brock with a five. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, if you know what you actually want, car-wise, go on something like Auto Trader. Look up that car and how many miles roughly you'd want it to have. You don't, you know, depending on what year it is, you don't really want it too high. Uh, Drock, thank you for the 49. Welcome back. Uh, and then you can get a rough idea of where your price should be. I don't know if Australia have an auto trader. I think you do. I think I remember going on it last while. Drock, thank you for the 49 pound. Really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> they go and nick it. No, we don't condone <laughs> stealing. 69. <laughs> right. Thank you for the 69, Spaceba. But that's your best bet. Uh, that's for Seba's ruined the 69. I mean, were you ruining hers, bro? Just saying. What comes around goes around. I realize why the glass panes there now. It's literally so you can pick the XP up. Nicking sounds like a Queensland thing to do. 
I mean, nicking is just like a more harsh way of saying borrowing and never giving back. Look at the bitch cheer. Three, five, three, nine. What? Oh, there goes the trade as well, boys. Salute that shit. It is out of here. To be fair, Ozzy Belly, the stories I hear from Brooke about uh, where she works. I don't think she works anymore, but where she was working. About people just nicking stuff all the time. So, what's a car, you know? Why not? Yoink. Mine now. But, on a serious note, go on something like that. You get a rough idea of what, what sort of price you're looking at. And then start low and come high. If your car's there for 30 grand, well, I'll give you 27. They said we can't do that. Right? You can do me a deal on it. You know you, want the, you, know you need the car set. 27 and a half. Final offer. Yeah. That was a dodgy place to be. I would never uh, work or live there. Yeah, it sounded pretty rough. I didn't think she worked there anymore, but she's got a bit more upmarket now, I believe. But she's still just as much of a donut, but you know. World Tour? We don't have one for this world yet, because there's not really a huge amount going on, but I can give you a quick World Tour, sure. Ready? Here we go. Prepare yourself, because you might miss it. Uh, base, nether portal, right here. Cow farm, mine, mine. There you go. Thank you for coming to the World Tour. Come my eyes are so heavy, man. I need to, I need, like, someone just to smack me. I don't know. Whack. Hey, uh, Bon, I think I can help you there, bud. Right. Uh, I need to repair up this pickaxe. That's the first thing. So let me go do that. We've got a longer stream today, so we're going to finish up the mine and get that all done. And then uh, we'll start on the nether tunnel. No, we're not doing 12 hours today. It's been postponed to Monday. We'll do that on Monday. We are going to do a longer stream today, though. How many bits to tuck you in bed? 100,000. Right. Trust me, I'd love nothing more than to go to bed. Mm -mm -mm. Stealing cars seems normal in Australia these days. Mate, there's a massive problem in the UK with fucking Range Rovers and people stealing those. I didn't realize how easy they were to steal, but there's a huge issue with that at the moment. So much so that insurers won't even insure them. So Land Rover came out with their own insurance to insure their own cars. And they won't even insure people. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Well, I'll trust Jethead to take the, the offer up and slap me. What's the live video of Rolex robbers? Ah, oh, mate, fuck working in a um, in a jewelry store. Sub that. That's all I'd think about is someone smashing in the door. Although watches all have serial numbers on them, so they can all be tracked anyway, but... Uh, if it helps you and it helps me, it's winning all around. Well, I mean, yeah, valid. If 
first shadow for 44. Beautiful months. We don't really need the, the gunpowder or anything, but we could have later on. Thank you button so much, mate. Button heart. Appreciate it. 44 centuries. Love. 44 centenaries. Uh, something like that. Not seen much of this world, season one or two I saw. Is there a world of it I can watch? Not yet, uh, Rufio. We're still pretty early days, mate. There's a few different builds we've done, but nothing too crazy at the moment. Um, but it's coming. It's coming. Someone else put that arm on, you know. I definitely heard that. Yeah, we've still got a ways to go, but we'll, we'll get there. There's a lot of gunpowder coming now, which is good. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did a world tour five years ago. I mean, we sort of did. To be fair, talking about fucking hate to work at a jewelry store, I'd hate to own an expensive piece of jewelry in general. Like, imagine actually owning one. That would just be, just be shit. There's so many issues in the UK with like people just getting stabbed over like watches and necklaces and things like that. Fuck that. I'll stick with my Casio, mate. Oh, too late. Uh, the only mob we have is Optifine. That's the only mob that's installed. That is the only mod. Uh, but so far, we've not got a lot. We've built this little compound at the moment. A couple of bridges here and there. Uh, we've got our like little castle sort of base here that we built. Uh, it does need filling out. We've got to do an iron farm, a storage room. Uh, over here, we've got the big nether portal hub thing. Uh, we've got a giant cow farm in that massive cow over there. That's about it at the moment. Um, oh, yeah, we found an enchanted golden apple yesterday. Pog. Right, that's repaired. Let me grab some, like, easy blocks, like dirt or something. That'll do. Sure. No, we are digging the end tunnel. We'll get that done. Well, I want to finish up. The, the end tunnel is going to take a bit of time. So I want to get the mine done. The nether tunnel to the Mesa Biome I want to get done. And then we'll do the uh, the end tunnel. Uh, was, chatting about your, was chatting about your Casio in the pub tonight with another guy who had one. Gotta love a good watch. What are you talking about my Casio? Why my Casio? Did he have an F91W on? What a, what a G. Honestly, mate, when you spot one of them, you'll spot loads of them. As soon as you spot one, you'll start seeing loads of them. He had the same one. What a geezer. What a geezer. One of these bad boys. Look at that shit. You can't go wrong, mate. Can't go wrong. F91W. Five, five bucks. That's what that costs. Five dollar dues. It's got the day, the date, the time. It can do alarms. It's got a light on it. What more could you possibly want? I would like a G-Shock at some point, to be fair. I would like a G-Shock at some point, but they're like... 80, 80, 90 dollars, something like that. Which I don't have to spend on one of those, but maybe someday. Join the G-Shot Club. JRD with the 200 biddies. Talk to me. Well, there's a fight going on in the bit cup. There's a fight! My friend couldn't pay his water bill, so I sent him a get a well soon card. The fight's over. 
Oh my god, that was terrible, Jody. Get out of here. An AC Cobra? What's that? I've got an old G-Shock that sits in your drawer. You should wear it, Royal. You should wear it. They are indestructible, those things. Uh, but there's a company called uh, IFL Watches that do like custom painted things. I wonder if I can pull them up. They're quite expensive, but they do like custom painted watches. The problem is the price goes way up after they start doing custom paints on them. Like these. You can get like G-Shocks and stuff that are like fucking all kinds of crazy designs and shit on them. They are quite expensive though. Like they, they go way up in, in price with these. They're like, yeah, like 400 quid for some of these, which is just ridiculous. But they are quite cool. They do all like hand painted stuff. Something unique. If that was something that you're interested in. You get all different ones. Um, if you just, but you can just get the default ones for like 100 bucks, which I, I would like to be fair. I would like one. It'd be a good watch to take fishing because it will never break. Get it dirty and mucky and don't matter. It'll just keep ticking away. Uh, an AC Cobra. Let's have a look here. Images. Oh, it's a car. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. How much are one of they? they? They look fucking expensive. How much is one of these? <laughs> Like 300 grand. Oh, wow. That's a small step up from a $100 G-Shop, but sure. Anybody got $300,000 lying around they don't need? Uh, had a good session over a few pints about good watches. G-Shop was on the list. Oh, yeah, mate. You can't go wrong with them. Inexpensive. You're not going to be stabbed over it. Will never break. Yeah, you can't, can't go wrong with it. Ten out of ten would recommend. All right, we're gonna raise this by two. We're not doing the whole thing. We're literally just raising this by two and calling it a day. And then we've got to figure out how the hell we're gonna get a pillar design sort of in here. On me. I don't know how on earth we're gonna do that. I've not thought that far ahead, really. No, I mean, it, you just. To be honest, if you're into that sort of scene, Rhythm, with like the watches and stuff, like I am, I fucking, I love watches, they're amazing. Um, I could talk for hours about them. Hours and hours and hours. Um, and it can be a good conversation if you're talking to somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. Something that looks better. Wait, what are we talking about? Something that looks better? What looks better? What looks better? Okay, luckily this isn't going to take too long, but... We should probably, like... I don't know, man. I would, Im was talking about putting some pillars in here to make it look like it's holding it up. We need to also do some sort of a lighting effect. You're a Tiso fan? They make good watches, man. I very nearly bought a PRX a few months ago. Very nearly bought a PRX. Relatively inexpensive. You get a good quality Swiss movement. It's not bad entry levels. If I had to buy a Tiso, though, it'd probably be a Tiso Gentleman with like a blue dial. Ooh. Lovely watches, those. Lovely entry level watches. Give me a basic Casio and you're good. Can't go wrong with Casio, mate. God tier. God tier. Like, genuinely, if I was a millionaire, I would probably still wear a Casio most. They're just great. They're just great. Uh, they've bought out some vintage stuff recently as well. I need to blow my nose. One second.
Yeah, Jed. That one I just showed does that. It's got 10 years the battery will last in that. Ridiculous. Um, let me see if I can find the vintage one to pull up. Because they look sick. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it now. I saw them advertised. Um, is this all they've got on here? Oh, I think it is. I can't find them. Well, they just bought out a vintage range, which is kind of cool. They're all like 60 bucks. Boom. Yeah, I can't find what I want. I'm looking for. Yeah, literally, Jed, you're just spot on, mate. Absolutely. Cutting edge tech at the time. It's nice, man. Hey, ding ding. We need diamonds. Ah, oh, double ding ding. Look at that. Yeah. Double ding ding. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not somebody you want to go to the pub with to talk watches because I will just talk for hours about them. I know not everybody gets it, and that's totally fine, but for myself, I, there's something about a mechanical watch that's just unbelievable. Something magical about it. You can tell the time, the date, the year, and more ding dings. Time, the date, the day, the fucking everything. From a spring and some cogs. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it will just tick forever. Crazy. And you can have it and you can pass it down to your kids. And your kids can pass it down to your kids' kids. And just... One day I'll probably buy something like a nice Swiss watch. But we're quite a long way away from that. Smart watches I'm not a big fan of. The only ones that I like are the ones that I use for golf. Which is, I have a really entry level old Apple watch that I got for Christmas a couple years ago. And it's fantastic for golf. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, whack an app on it. Load it up. Tells you the course you're on. Tells you where you're standing. Uh, how far you are from the pin. It's fantastic. And that's the only thing I really care to use a smartwatch for. They're not bad for, like, the gym, I guess. I guess you can use them for the gym, but... You lost me at golf? Golf's great, man. What do you mean? Yeah, that's cool, Rithin. Treasure that shit, man. That's cool. I'm gutted that I only really got into watches, like... A year and a bit ago, a year and a half ago now. Because my granddad passed away a couple years ago. It'll be three years this year now. And I would love to I would have loved to have had his watch and kept hold of it. So he wore one all the time. It wasn't anything special, it was just like a normal quartz watch, but it was uh it was the set the sentiment of it all, the sentimental factor. It would have been cool to have, but Odvel. You spend several hours to play. You spend several hours to play the least golf as possible. What do you mean? Golf's great, man. Wake up in the morning, 6 a.m., get down and tee off at about 7. The sun's coming up. It's warm. Shorts and t shirt. You can do a round of golf in like three and a half, four hours with a couple of you. Have a nice gentle stroll. Play some golf. Yeah, man. There's nothing more relaxing. I mean, I wouldn't play golf as in the game. 
I wouldn't play golf as a game. Like, I'd much rather play it in person. I couldn't sit, like... Although Wii Sports Golf is quite a good fun. But that's my lot. Go get those dinglings in a second. I believe there's more, so we'll just keep going for now. So British weather takes a turn, it random starts pissing it down. Well, there is that. I've I've done quite well with uh, weather for golf, to be honest. I can't complain too much. So there's no way there's not more than two there. Whoops. 12 diamonds for doing nothing so far. Don't play as much golf as I should. I live on a golf course. Poker buddies come around and we pitch off uh, the front lawn. I mean, that's just cool. That's just cool. But you can't beat it, man. Even if you get a higher golf buggy, a few beers with your friends as you walk around playing, it's, good, it's a good laugh. I think I'm going to play my first round of the year uh, next Thursday. This Thursday coming. Then we're going to go in the morning. As long as the weather's all good. Golf on TV is televised sky. All cameras are, ser ser are ex searchlight operators. Eh? What? Oh, you're talking about looking for balls and stuff in the air. Well, the Masters is on at the moment, isn't it? I didn't realize how big that event was, by the way. There's ever people who go nuts about that shit on Twitter and everything. Not that I'd ever watch golf on TV. Fuck that. I'd watch the highlights, maybe. But I'm not watching sitting there watching golf for 12 hours. Whoops, got some, oh god, is this updating? Not, oh, that did work. It might have been updating. Whoops. We're fine, we didn't drop frames. The cameramen just point at the sky, and then the ground, and then drop the ball on the ground. Well, I mean, sure. <laughs> sure. When do we get a golf stream? Do you know what? I actually wouldn't mind doing an IRL golf stream. I have a setup to do it. The problem is, you wouldn't see a lot of it. It would be a good laugh to do, but... You wouldn't see much that was going on. I have to carry a camera around with me on like a little tripod. You're not going to be able to see where the ball actually goes. The only way that I could do that is if... I had an actual camera person operating my camera here, get a different lens for it, and they could actually, like, film me and then point down the fairway at where the ball landed. I am shit at golf, but it would be a good laugh. It would be a good laugh. Okay. Next time we're in New Zealand. I've never been to New Zealand. I'd like to go. Uh, come around. I'm, I'm gay. Absolutely. Down the fairway. The pa then pans left or right, whichever rough you landed. I mean, it's pointless pointing it at the fairway. <laughs> it's, it's very rare that I hit a fucking peach straight down the fairway. Uh, usually I end up in the rough on either side. That doesn't matter. Get the trusty eight iron out, mate. We'll soon get out of there. 
on the green in two. Lovely job. What is Ocker just for you, mean? The first button pro ab. We'll see button win and him award himself the trophy. Imagine. But my handicap is like 50. Like it's terrible. Does this actually my app might give me a handicap if it's installed? Oh, it is still installed. Let's have a look what my handicap is. Bear in mind I've not done too many uh, rounds on this app yet, so but we'll go from what I have. Uh how do you see this? Me. Uh, here we go. I have an average score of 117. <laughs> and my handicap is 52.8. Shit. There you go. There you go. That's some proper golf. I'll tell you that much. If I ever did a golf stream, would I have calm narration? And there he swings, the ball goes zoom. Ah, it's in the tall grass. No, fuck that. Most likely be me whack the ball, slice it off into a lake, yeet my club halfway down the fairway. <laughs> oh, man. The good old club launch. If you're lucky, my driver might end up in the lake again. It would be chaotic commentary. I don't even know who I'd do it with. Slowpoke likes it, uh, likes gold, but he's so slow at playing, it's annoying. Rhythm, tier three out of your mind for six months in advance. Holy fucking shit. Chat, can we get a huge wall of hearts? I've been loving the chat from my man Rhythm. Six months in advance, tier three out of his mind. Thank you very much, pal. Holy fucking shit. What a G. Thank you, my man. 45 months. It's a fifth Twitch baby as well. Thank you, mate. Yeah, Slowpoke takes forever because he has to fucking test the wind speed every time he takes a shot. Fuck that. I haven't got time for that. Line it up. Smash it down the fairway. Or try to. I don't give a bollocks about the wind speeds. Doesn't make a difference. I'm still shit either way. I think it would actually be a laugh, you know. Shoot up! Drive for show, pump for the dough. Money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drive for show, pump for the dough. See, they're making a Happy Gilmore 2. Has anybody seen that shit? Anybody uh, spotted that yet? We're in slime junks, apparently. Nurse drag gum. Is that real? I think it is. Uh, although now you mention it, now I'm wondering if it was on April the 1st. If it is, I'll be fuming. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it, it's, it's a golf stream something chat would be interested in. Don't know. It'd be a good laugh. It'd be a good laugh, to be fair. Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't know. We watch you fish. True. And a lot of people that don't like fishing really enjoy the fishing streams. They will be returning soon, actually, now the weather's getting warmer. Uh, a lot of people that don't like fishing like the fishing streams just because of the chill vibe of it. You got all the lovely sounds of nature in the background. The problem is, like, I don't know how I would do it. I'd have to get somebody to do, be like the cameraman for the day or something. Would be a good laugh. Maybe I could mount... Oh, no, because because you can't... Hmm, I was going to say, maybe I could mount the camera to, like, the golf buggy somehow, but... I'd be happy to walk around, to be honest. Hey, bud, any tips on getting my channel big? Advertising bots, get him out of here! Get him out of here. Uh, yeah, honestly, I have three and a half tips I can give to anybody that asks me that question. Uh, number one... Be yourself. Don't try and impersonate somebody who, uh, you know, is already a big streamer. I'm trying, you know, someone like Speed or something like that. Don't try and impersonate somebody that's already a big streamer. Just be yourself. Guarantee there'll be uh, somebody out there that likes your style of content. Number two, which is the most important thing of all, have fun. If you're not having fun, don't stream. Simple as that. Uh, streaming should be nothing but fun. Uh, you should be playing the things you want to play. Um, just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Uh, number three, which I can't stress enough, is don't look at your view account. Uh, view account, because when you're starting out and you drop from like five to three viewers, you will get depressed. It will get to you if you have ten people and drop to six. So just hide that shit. I still hide my view account to this day. I just don't even look at it. It doesn't matter if there's five people here or five thousand people here. The stream will operate in exactly the same way. So we don't even bother with view account stuff. It's irrelevant. Uh, you know, you need to focus on the people that are in your stream, not the people that aren't. So, be yourself, have fun, don't look at your view account. And the point five is the reason it's a half a tip is because not everybody can do it. But try to be semi-consistent. Be live roughly at the same time every time you go live. And you'll find that people will start to adapt their schedules around you. Like, we have people here that know I go live by like 11. So, they're always here in chat, chilling beforehand, talking to other people in the community. Then the stream goes live at around that time, and here we are. So, fishing is something I don't mind doing, uh, but only when I'm actually fishing. All the prep before is annoying. What do you mean? There's not a lot of prep required, really. Just, I mean, I guess you've got to set your odds up, but that doesn't take too long. Pre-stream chat is a party. It is a party. That's very true. Would highly recommend if you've never been a part of pre-stream chat to come into the show. Even a couple hours before the stream goes live and there's people usually in here chilling. It is worth doing. Finding a location. Uh, whether you have the correct license, buying the bait. I mean... <laughs> You kind of have to do that stuff to be able to fish. <laughs> you can't just show up with no bait. Like, well, fuck. Are you kidding me? Just catch the fish with your bare hands. I have caught... Uh, I mean, carp here are like a treasured fish, right? Like in Australia, they're invasive and you have to kill them. You're not allowed to put them back. But uh, in the UK, they're like a, a trophy fish. Like, you know, they are very loved and looked after here. So... I have caught one of those with a net. Just like off the surface that was shit. And I kind of came up behind it and like, whack, got it. Pretty cool. Yeah, they're a pest over there, but here they're uh so, so a trophy type fish. Also a button use a tennis sweet corn. That's all you need, mate. 
A lot of people overcomplicate fishing. You don't need to overcomplicate it. I've been fishing for my whole life, pretty much. You don't need to overcomplicate fishing. Ten of spam, ten of sweet corn. Maybe a pepper army. That's all you need. That's all you need. Sure, things like boilies and stuff are great. You don't need them. Ten of sweet corn. Bosh. Job done. Especially in the winter. Uh, okay, that's done. It's called fishing, not catching. Very true. If you catch, great, but it's just the it's just the piece of fishing. Like if you can find a spot. Where it's not near any roads, you know, there's no noise around, no construction, anything like that. You can find a nice spot that you can just pump your ass down, relax, listen to the birds, listen to the wind. And have a nice little, even just a float rod. Or watch a little float on a lake or a river. You'll do well to beat that. Like, in terms of a chill vibe, it is so chill. You're just fishing away, minding your own business, away from the world. It's just fantastic. Em, you're more than welcome to come with me and Matt sometime. It's just relax. You can chill. Make yourself a nice pat lunch. Talk to your mate if you've gone with a friend. Like fishing, I haven't been able to go in about six months. I just haven't had time, but... Fishing is my escape. Like, if I need to get away from the world, I go fishing. No, it's just the best. So good. So good. But I am sad the winter season is over because nothing beats that. Bringing a lure through the water and feeling a pike or something just go bang and just annihilate it. So much fun. Yeah, for sure. The only problem with notice is you don't know anything about the weather, so you just have to chance it, but if you're having a bit of a heat spell, you know, it's good fun. Surprised you never streamed those Hunter Sash fishing games. We've done the Hunter before. Uh, they're not really streaming games, especially a fishing game. That's fucking boring. I don't want to sit on a computer and fish. I'd rather just go fishing. The Hunter is a brilliant game. I've played a lot of it. How many hours have we got in that now? Uh, I would recommend that game to anybody, by the way. I hate, like, hunting in general. Like, I couldn't... Unless it was a life or death situation, I'd rather just avoid it. I don't think I could ever shoot a deer or something like that. Not unless it was a life or death thing. Uh, but Hunter Call of the Wild is such a fun game. We've got 130 hours in it. It's so much fun. I would highly recommend this. It's a good laugh. Especially with some friends. Uh, Mistress Vambi, thank you for the 34 months. What do you call a rock that never goes to school? A skipping stone. Terrible. Four. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Nearly three years, though. Think you got it free on Epic Games? Maybe. It's a great game. So much fun. You can spend hours and hours on it. Oh, no way! Was it really? In? What's that? Um, what's that even called? It's like it, it's got a specific name. Hunter. No, it's not Call of the Wild. What's it called? Is it Angler? Oh yeah, Call of the Wild, the Angler. Here we go. This game when it came out, yeah, it had some really like dodgy reviews. I don't know if it's better now, but there was a lot of issues with it at one point. I don't know if it's any good nowadays. Still got mixed reviews. Recently, it's got positive reviews, so maybe it's better now, but... <laughs> I know it was really bad when it first came out. That guy with a little fucking... Whatever that is, a bass or some sort. Yeah. Oh, they've got all different uh, maps and stuff out for it now as well. Look at that. What's this? The new boat cruiser. <laughs> Do 
It's free on Game Pass. Played it recently. Very long winded to get uh, to fishy, but overall pretty fun. Well, the hunter's a bit similar. Like the the the, the hunter version is, is very similar to that, in the sense that it takes a while to get. You have to kill little things to get the bigger guns to kill the bigger things. But once you get to that point, it's great fun. Like this has got very positive reviews. Once you get to the point where you're killing like moose and stuff. You know, you're getting loads of money come in. Good fun. It is good fun. Uh, the best feeling was when I knew nothing about fishing and then really in several large fish before my experience fishing mate reeled in one. Yeah, I mean, I've, do you know what? I've got a story to tell now. I'm pissed off. But there's a channel point fishing game called Lurk Bait. I'd suggest it. But unless there's a massive cooldown, it could get spammy. Channel point game, really? Yeah, we don't want to, I, I try to keep the chat as clean as possible. That's why we don't have like point gambling or anything like that anymore. Because it is just a spammy mess. Um, yeah, so there's a lake that I've fished for the past 12 years, maybe. That I've gone pike fishing on. Uh, and I know there's bigger fish in there. The biggest I've ever had out there was 13 pounds. Which is a nice fish, but... That's the biggest I've ever had out there. And I've had a few around that 12, 13 pound mark. But... About two years ago, I was away. I think I was with Amy, actually. Hi, Amy, by the way. How are you? I was with Amy and, and Matt and that. And uh, my dad and my neighbour had gone fishing to this lake. And they were fishing away. They hadn't caught nothing all day. And uh, they bumped into one of my neighbour's friends who was with his son. And they thought they were like, can we join? Like, yeah, yeah, come on. They're all fishing off this little like bank bit. And this little prick that's never fished this lake in his life catches an 18 pound monster. Right? It's a beauty. An absolute belter of a fish. He couldn't land it. He had no idea what, he'd, what what it was or what he just caught. They netted it. They got nice pictures of it and like that. They put it back. Sent me a picture of it. Oh, I was fucking furious. I was like, I've fished that lake for over a decade, and some little seven-year-old prick shows up and catches a beast like that straight away. I was fuming. I was fuming. And now I've made it my challenge to destroy and crush this little this little shit. I don't think he was seven. I think he was older than that. I think he was maybe like 10, 11. And, uh, yeah. I was fuming. Couldn't believe it when they sent me a picture of it. And what made it worse is I went fishing a couple of weeks later. Because that, like, drove me. I was fishing, like, a few times a week. I was like, I've got to beat this kid. And I was walking back one day. We had a couple out, but nothing crazy. I was walking down the road, and there's this, this little kid playing on the drive. And I'm just walking along, and he goes, did you catch anything? I was like, yeah, we had a few out. And I didn't know who it was at the time. And then he goes, yeah, I caught an 18 pounder the other day. I was like, it's you, you little shit. I could have, I, at that point in time, I could have roundhouse kicked him in the face. Um, Because <laughs> the kid had no idea how hard it is to catch something that big in that lake. Um... So yeah, I'm livid, and I will not stop fishing that lake until either I die or beat that kid. It's going to happen. Ten-year-old little shit. He was a little shit. He was so smug about it as well. I caught an 18-pounder the other day. And I was like, right, you're the little cunt that's done this. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, God. Fuming. But the good news is that fish is only getting bigger by the year. So maybe it's a 20 now. You did. That was very impressive. Even though it was only a small little thing of like a pound. Uh, the fact you even got that in. Pretty impressive. It is probably a skill issue. It is probably a skill issue, yeah. You're probably right. Went fishing very young, fell in the river, never went again. Yeah, you don't want to be falling in the river, man. 
That's, uh... That ain't fun. My, uh... My neighbour's daughter came once. She was only young. I think she was only seven or eight. She was very young. She came once. She was intrigued. And she fell in the lake. And it was about minus three that day. Bless her heart. She was so cold. Like, she went... <laughs> her lips went blue. She was that cold. Bless her. <laughs> and she was fucking around by the edge. And I was like, it's going to end in tears. And her, her dad kept saying, you know, come away from the edge. Come away from the edge. And she fell in the lake. God, she must have been cold. But she's never gone near the edge ever since. So she's learned a lesson. If that'll be 100 bits, play the final of the time. Did you push her back in? She caught a bigger fish than you. No, she didn't. We had to go home because she was probably about to catch frostbite. Bet you laughed. I'm well, I tried to quietly laugh because I was like, I knew it was going to happen, but I also felt bad because I know how cold that water is. And she's got like a coat on and like a, a wellies and everything. She's just full of just ice water. It's <laughs> just like, holy moly, you must be cold. Um, so you couldn't help but feel for a little, for a little bit. But at the same time, I did laugh because she was pissing her out by the edge, and it was, it was going to end like that. It just was. But kids won't learn until they, something bad happens. And there you go. I want to take my dad shopping, so I won't be about, uh, so I won't be chatting for about an hour. No worries. Time served. Yep, sure. Bye. Yep. I will say bye to him. Everybody behave. Uh, W's the felt for here was mega lol. What? What? Mega lol? Who's mega lolling? Mega lol? Oh, it was what I felt for her a mega lol. Oh, yeah. Oh, massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was fucking hilarious, but... I tried to be somewhat respectful. And just... Sort of hold it in. There we go. Caught one of your fishing streams. Thought it was good. The duck that sat of you by your... By you stole the stream. Yeah. Sometimes ducks come and hang out. They're chilling. It's cool, man. Well, this is the mine now. That is way better now we've lifted that up, by the way. That's far, far better. So this is the mine ready to rumble. Do we want to wrap this around the edge here? So it can go that way as well? So it comes all the way around. Then maybe turns and goes all the way around. Then turns again. Perhaps. I need another coffee chat. I'm so fucked today. It's not even funny. Oh, God. I'm going to sleep like a fucking baby tonight. I'm just not going to be having any coffees at the... Not any of that. Whatever the hell it is. Just pure caffeine. Has anybody ever drank a cup of pure caffeine? Because I think I have. And I'm letting go. Maybe something like that. No, I wasn't waking up. There was no waking up, so I couldn't get to sleep. Oh, it was terrible. I was sat here working away last night. I had things that needed to be done. And I was getting tired. And it was about 9 o'clock. And I was like, fuck. I'm like falling asleep here. But I need to get this shit finished. So I went and made a coffee, but I used this, rather than using these sachet things that I usually use, which I, I've had like four of those in a night before, gone to sleep, no problem. I decided to use this just straight fucking like granule, straight in the cup, bang. I recommended one to two teaspoons, so naturally I put two and a half in. And, uh, you know, and it worked. I ended up having two cups of it because the first one didn't really feel much. So I was like, I'll go, I'll make another one. What a stupid idea that was. Uh, had a second one, bang, I was awake. Didn't realize that caffeine from a coffee stays in your system for like four to six hours. So I laid in bed for six hours, tossing and turning. 
Ah, uh, it was just terrible. It was absolutely terrible. I ended up falling asleep around 6 a.m. Not good. Fell asleep around 6 a.m. Uh, is that going to work? Yeah, I guess it will. Fell asleep around 6 a.m. Fucking... Oh, God, it was just shit. My alarm went off at 7.50 and a whopping hour and 50 minutes sleep. Ah, oh, I was just wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Um, and then I sort of... I thought there was a chance I might be able to, you know, get up and power through. No. No way. Uh, it was just sort of alarms. 10 minutes away, 10 minutes away up. Time just fucked. I did consider that host. I was considering resorting to alcohol. Like, just bang a few shots of vodka or something like that. Or whiskey. I, I did consider it. I did everything. I was doing breathing exercises to, like, lower oxygen in your blood to make you drowsy. I was doing that thing where you, like, relax your whole body and you really think about it. Like, my body had gone to sleep. I could feel my body was done. But my head was just awake. And I, there was nothing I could do. And it was so annoying. Um, so anyway, it was just a, it was just a dreadful night. Um, hated every second of it. Um, and yeah, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. So I won't be making that mistake again. And then obviously, I knew I had a 12 hour that like I said I was going to do. So I was getting annoyed because I couldn't sleep. Oh, it was, and that just made everything worse. It was just terrible. Something like that, maybe? And that gives us three on each side. Then it's even, at least. Um, That's so annoying. Uh... We now know that if you need some energy, what's your... Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. The silver lining to all this is if we're ever doing a 24-hour marathon and we're getting tired like 20 hours in, bang a couple of these and we're doing a 48-hour stream. Because this shit is like... This is this shit's nuts. Um, but no, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do anything, John. Nothing I tried, I could relax with. I tried, like I said, breathing exercises... I tried just laying there quietly. I tried, um, I watch it, just scrolling Twitter, watching some TikToks for a bit. I tried absolutely everything. I almost contemplated just saying, fuck it, I'll just get up and carry on going, just carry on doing some work or something, because there's no point in me laying here. But I was like, no, lay here quietly. Eventually, you've got to fall asleep, right? And that time came around 5.50. When I started, I was like, oh, I'm fucking a bit tired now. Put my phone down, gone. Hour and, hour, hour and 50 minutes later. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, great. Here we go. So I feel like shit today. Absolute shit. You have to get the... I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I just grabbed the tub out of the, um, out of the cupboard. I didn't even know we had it. I was like, I'll try one of these. These are, you know, a bit of pure coffee. Because I am... Genuinely falling asleep in my chair. I need to wake up like now. So that like, pure coffee straight in the veins Yeah, we won't be making that mistake again So today I just feel like absolute crap, but We're still gonna do a nice stream today. Uh, we're not gonna be finishing like half past two three We're gonna go longer today. I don't know how much longer but we are uh, Maybe an hour or two longer who knows and then Monday we'll do the 12 hour This used to be me years ago on other things. It's so not worth it. Uh, wow. I mean, that's a different feeling of being awake, though. That's a different feeling of being awake. Like, if you've done a line of coke or something like that, or you've been on that during the night or something like that, and you lay in bed, you're just staring at the ceiling, and you're like, what the fuck? Your heart's beating out your chest, and you're like, oh my god. We're not sleeping for like a month. Well, that's different because eventually you can actually get to sleep. But, yeah, you do feel like you're going to die when that, <laughs> when that has happened. But, shit. 
This is, this was different because I was my whole body was tired. I was tired. My head was tired. Everything was tired. But nothing I tried would get me to sleep. Nothing. Don't do drugs, kids. Bad idea. Uh, do we want to leave these as corner? I mean, I guess we do actually. We just hmm. Maybe we could just leave this. Oh, no, for sure. For sure. I mean, I've always said I'm open to try pretty much anything except, like, heroin. Right. Like, I'd like to just give it a whirl. See what it's all about. See what happens. Uh, I've always been down for that. And that's very much a case of been there, done that. We were, we've been in a bad place. You know, get to the point where you just don't give a fuck anymore. But that's a bad place to be. And, yeah, it's one of those things you've just been there, done that, would never go back to. Never go back to. Uh, sleeping. Uh, did you try a glass of warm milk? <laughs> well, the glass of warm milk would have sent me probably to a coma. So, I mean, that would have been a form of sleep, I guess. Uh, thank you, Johnny, for that top tip. I'll, uh, I'll bear that in mind next time. Uh, I have heard of Death Wish Coffee, actually. I have heard of that. I've never had it, but I've heard of it. I want to say, I mean, I don't know what it actually is. I've not read the, the, the tub, but the tub is the same color as Costa. So I don't know if the Costa make granules, because it could be those. It could be that. It's just like them chunks of coffee. You put that in hot water, bag, you make a coffee. Oh, that's it. Rum, bop, 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 bop. Right, let's get rid of these. We don't need these anymore. Have you heard of liquid death? Uh, it's just water in a can that looks like an energy drink. Uh, liquid death. I feel like I have heard of liquid death, but I didn't know it was water in a can. Um, so we got that going there. What, what did I come back for? Fuck. Chat, what did I come back for? Does anybody remember? We probably have a load of spare ladders somewhere. Yeah, we've got a few here. I didn't... Yeah, I've heard of liquid death. I didn't know it was uh, just water. What well button? Drink out of the end that doesn't have the bit open. Another coffee would be great, I must admit. It's great marketing, probably better than Prime. Somebody say Prime. I don't know if you're talking about Prime as in the, the drink or Prime as in Twitch Prime. <laughs> but either works for me. Do you know what? Prime is just insanely well marketed. Like, the, the solution of deliberately not making enough so that it's scarce and people want, want it more and pay more and making it look like there's some insanely high demand when you're actually just not making as much as you could deliberately so there's not a bit enough supply is fucking genius. Like, that is absolutely genius. Uh... Molly, gifted a sub. Thank you so much for that, Molly. Appreciate that a lot. Like, that marketing is absolute genius, right? And it, obviously, the whole thing blew up because of that. I've tried a lot of the flavors of Prime. Uh, to be honest with you, they're all a bit shit. The only one that's actually worth having, in my opinion, is the Meta Moon one. That's quite nice. The white one. But other than that, Prime is just pretty bang average. I'd never buy it in a shop. So, I, I did all the four original flavors, the white one, 
And that's it. I haven't done any of the other ones. But the white one is banging. The rest are just... Yeah. Take care, Kev. Have a good one, mate. Thanks for hanging out, pal. Alright. I don't know what Prime as a company is even worth, but I imagine it's quite a few hundred million at this point. I'm actually shocked that they've not sold. Like, if it was me, I'd be out of there. Done. Sell my stake. Make a hundred million dollars. See you later. Because the, that, the hype of that, that it, that it was having, and I know it's calmed down a bit now, it, that just can't be sustained. It can't be sustained. It's insane the amount of hype that went around that. Just signed a big prime deal with WWE. I mean, it must be doing quite well. You don't hear about it as much now, but... You know, they've just signed Speed. Arsenal have got it. I think Barcelona have got it. Uh, WWE, obviously now, partners of it. They've got some... Erling Haaland, I think, is a partner of it. Speed, Alicia Lehman. They've got all these big names. Like, you'd think they'd just get out of there, you know? I mean, I would. we see you later. It says somewhere in the region of 3 to 8 billion. Well, it's your yearly revenue times seven, I believe is how you work out the market, uh, how you work out the value of a company. I think it's your yearly revenue times seven. Uh, is your valuation. I don't actually know how much of the company Logan and Chaos I own. I know they're not owners of it. Like, it's owned by somebody else, but... I know they have a stake of some sort in it. But I wonder how much of a stake. I think it's times seven. I could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure it's times by seven. Mmm, steak. Oh, don't drop. I've got a couple of steaks in the fridge. Oh. Uh, all these sports drinks are just the same form with different names. Oh, of course they are. Like, absolutely. As I say, I would never go into a shop and buy Prime. I just... There's just so many better drinks out there than that. Um, but, you have to tip your hat to what Logan and KSI and that have done. Regardless of what you think of them, because they've taken some little startup, absolutely blown it up, and made hundreds of millions of dollars through a legitimate company without scamming fans like Logan was, was doing at some point. So, you got to tip your hat there and say... Fair play, right? And they've done that in a matter of, what, two years? Pretty impressive. Would rather buy a monster? Oh, so would I. I would all, all day long, I would buy a monster. Or even like a Luke's Aid or something over a Prime. Any day of the week. The white one is quite nice, admittedly. I do like the white one, but the others, I, if I went into a shop, I wouldn't bother. Personally. Like, it's not bad, but it's not like, this is unreal. I'm only ever going to buy this. You know? You spent over $300 on Prime. Holy shit. I mean, you must really like it if that's the case. Well, that whole, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, Mama Burger, but from what I've seen, that whole crypto zoo thing that he did, where he basically, as I understand, just scammed people out of millions of dollars and then just fucked off. And then offered to pay like a fraction of them back. I think he said, we'll refund everybody that applies for it in the next 30 days. Something like that. That, that whole situation is very weird. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of either of the Paul brothers. However, I do have respect for Jake from being... I mean, I think he's a bit of a knob anyway, but... To, to go on to 
dedicate yourself to actually, you know, being like a proper boxer. I, I, I gotta tip your hat to that, I think. You know. He's moved away from all the cringy bullshit and just dedicated himself to a, a sport that he enjoys. And, uh, you know, takes it seriously, respects the sport, and I think you've got to tip your hat to that. I probably prefer him over Logan, but I'm not a massive fan of either of them. Hope he beats him down in July. I mean, I don't know. The... I don't know the deals, the details of the contract of that, but there must be something going on there. Because, yes, Mike Tyson's old, but the guy is still in some seriously good shape. If you have a look at some of the sparring things of him. I, it's pretty nuts. So, that, I, there's got to be some weird shit going on in that contract, surely. Because otherwise, in my head anyway, the guy would just kill him. But... As I say, though, Jake's taken boxing seriously. He's, you know, dedicated himself to it. So, who knows? Maybe he might be able to hold his own. Good luck to him. Anyone that's prepared to get in the ring with Mike Tyson has my respect. Fuck that. I don't know if this is a thing overseas, but Australia has mother energy drinks. And the raspberry flavor is the bomb. Mother energy? I've, I've never heard of that. So maybe that's an Aussie only thing. Jake hasn't even fought an actual boxer. He's fought Tommy Fury. I know he lost, but he's fought him. That Mike Tyson is an actual boxer. I think as you say, it's just fair, you know, I know he fights a lot of old, retired UFC fighters and stuff, but... Like, I think he actually is trying to dedicate himself to... to fight. One that isn't retired. Tommy Fury's not retired. Mother is owned by Coke. What are they called? Mother Energy. Maybe we do have them there. Images. I don't know. Have I seen this? You can buy them. Uh, Amazon AU comes up. It's definitely an Australian thing. But I can buy them here. Yeah, Australian food shop has them. You can get them on eBay. <laughs> 16 Australian dollars for one can. <laughs> Fuck that. This is single player gamer. 16 Australian dollars. No way. I'm not a big energy drink person in general, to be honest with you. I try to avoid energy drinks if I can. I'll have one every so often, but... I just... I have an energy drink and I just feel like shit a bit later on in the day. Because it's just full of crap. Like, I'd much rather have a coffee. Much rather have a coffee. I just generally just full of shit. Sugar and... I know you can get zero sugar ones, but then it's full of taurine and... That's a carcinogenic and... I don't know. I mean, everything can give you cancer nowadays, but... Still, like, there's nothing good in it, right? 
There's nothing nutritious. And what I learned yesterday as well is coffee actually lowers your risk of liver disease, heart disease, and something else. I didn't realize coffee was actually pretty good for you. So there you are. That's this week? No. I mean, forever. Mm -mm -mm. The only, like, downside to coffee is it just stains your teeth like crazy, man. I convinced myself that wine is 100% good for me. Well. But hot clothes. I have some good news for you, my friend. What is wine made from? Grapes. What are grapes? A fruit. What is fruit? Good for you. Healthy. So as far as I'm concerned, a bottle a day keeps the doctor away. I don't mind a white wine, but I'm definitely not a red wine person. I haven't. That's an acquired taste that I haven't got. That's an acquired taste that I haven't got. Red wine, I just can't get behind. Like some people, I don't mind red wine jus, which is like a sauce you can get in some like steakhouses. That's quite nice. Uh, but like red wine on its own, some people say like, you know, order a steak and a nice glass of red wine to sort of wash it with. And it's, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for me. I wish it did, but it just doesn't. Um, granted, I've not tried red wine in a long time, but I, I just, just don't think I'm a wine person. I think my favourite wine I've ever had, I mean, I like a Sauvignon Blanc, which is a white. But there was one that um, Roxy used to drink called Moscato, which was like a sweet white wine, which we don't seem to have here in the UK, but that was really nice. And then there's obviously the UK, whether well, you can consider it a wine called Echo Falls, which the missus drinks, which actually isn't too bad either. But red wine, I just... I don't get it. I wish I did, but I don't. The UK doesn't have good red wine? Probably not. I don't know. I wouldn't know a good red wine. The only thing I know about red wine is Shiraz. Merlot. Lindemans. <laughs> it's like £7 a bowl. Um, right, we need... Uh, ladders, torches... We need more ladders. Is what we need. Stop. A good red wine with a pizza or pasta is elite. Again, I just don't get it though. Like, but it doesn't do anything for me. I'm just like. All Aussie wine comes from a box. That's probably because you Australians haven't discovered glass yet. Um. Glass is something you can make like bottles out of to like put things in. I know you guys are uh, pretty behind the curve over there with your technology. You know, dial up internet is still thriving in Australia. CRTs, you know, I get it. All the Aussies are like, hey, fuck you, mate. Little fucking shit cunt. Tell you, tell you fucking what, mate. I can take you to the fucking crocodiles. Fucking eat your fucking head off, cunt. <sighs> anyway. We literally invented Wi-Fi. No. Two cups and a piece of string is not Wi-Fi. But, I understand that you're defensive of Australia. I get it. It's a nice place, but take it from me, you guys are very far behind with technology. Amazon Prime has only recently become a thing in Australia. I remember when I was there initially... Fuck me, you had to wait three weeks if you ordered something. Three weeks! Ridiculous. Then Amazon launched. And it was a bit shit. And I don't know if it's any good nowadays, but... 
We do not sound like that. You absolutely do. That's because you're in Western Australia. No. I don't give a shit where I was. As far as I'm concerned, Australia's Australia. You're behind the behind the curve. You're anywhere you like in England. You got next day delivery. Some places it's an hour delivery. Anything you want, it's all on Amazon. Quick and easy. Boom, boom, boom. Fiber, gigabit internet, wherever you like. Bosh, job done. Except my house. Um, you know, in Australia, you guys have got to fucking put some coins in the meter and wind it with a little fucking stick. It's not a problem. You guys are just... You're remote, right? One day, I'm sure, maybe you'll catch up with the bell curve. But until then, you're behind the times. And that's the reality. Is this right? This corner feels weird. Oh, and it is because it's off. Oh, actually, this is very easily fixable. Is it? No, it's not easily fixable. How the fuck do you solve this? The only way you solve this is by... removing this. But you can't do without removing everything and pushing it all back by one. Fuck! Thank God it's a 24 hour stream. I'm kidding, it's not a 24 hour stream. Don't get excited. Oh, Olav, have you been in match chat? Fuck's sake, has he beaten the train? Imp's not here to update it actually, so you'll just have to tell me. <clears throat> You just have to tell me. It's not updated. What is the... Uh, I can do it right now if you tell me what it is. Uh, Imp's away. He's out for... I think he's gone shopping with his dad. I think he's up. So I'll, I'll have to do it. Or Spaceman Spaceman might still be here. Uh, put the ladder back. You have to step it up as you go. What? Here? What do you mean? No, correct. Like, the only way to fix this is to remove this front layer, then that layer, then that layer, and push it all back by one. That's the only way to make that line up with that corner. Same with this. Move all the front layer, push it back by one, which... Oh, I don't know if I can be asked to do... <sighs> I hope it's wrong for making fun of Australians. I'm not making fun of Australians. It's a reality of Australia. I love the Australians, right? You guys are great. But unfortunately, some harsh realities need to be set set in stone. Right? And when it comes to technology, believe it or not, you guys are just very far behind. And that's absolutely fine. Mate, the UK has only just discovered potatoes. I mean, that doesn't even make sense. Right, no. You don't need to get upset about it. I like the Australians, okay? But having lived in the UK all my life and lived in Australia, you guys are very behind in the world of technology. And that's okay. But you just are. Everything that's over there is done the old-fashioned way, which is arguably better. The craze with beans and a baked potato. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not come at our jacket potato and beans, okay? Because let me tell you right now. A jacket potato and beans is absolutely sensational. It's absolutely sensational. In fact, I also like it with a nice slice or two of corned beef. Bellissimo. You can't beat it. Properly made beans on toast. Bosh. Job done. Some good stuff. You can't be wrong with it. Why well, I'm is wearing jackets. The jackets are tin foil. You wrap them in tin foil. Also, could you not bring the back wall forward one so it lines up? 
That would have been... I mean, that's the smarter way of doing it. We can actually do that, like, right now. That's not an issue. Oh, that's very true. You don't have a Piers Morgan. You must have your, like, Australian version of him, though. Who everybody thinks a bit of a... Everybody thinks is a bit of a tosser, but sometimes makes an occasionally valid point. Wait, I don't think we can bring it forward. No, we can't. Because if I do this, I can't put ladders here where they need to go. Uh, actually, do you know, pushing all that back is actually not an issue. I'm, I'm not a little bitch. I don't give a fuck. This is a long-term world. There's no rush. We just have to push this back and that back by one. It's fine. Everybody stop panicking. Yeah, and you guys call it Maccas. It's not Maccas, it's Mackies. Everybody knows that. Um, the Aussies are going to get rivaled up again. It's fucking Maccas, mate. Fucking, you know. They go extremely nasally when, uh, when they get angry. You know, yeah, fucking little shit can't make fucking Maccas. Mackies just sounds stupid. More so you say a Mackies. Do you want to go grab a Mackies? Makes so much more sense. Do you want to go grab a Maccas? Go well, fucking go grab a Maccas, mate. Go fucking grab Mackies. Yeah, nah, yeah. Very common over there. Yeah, nah, yeah. Which means you agree with something. But going down on the Aussies. Well, the Americans get a lot of stick. The Aussies, you know, I love those guys, but some things are just just factually wrong. And that's just that's just unfair from Johnny. There's why do that? Hey, butter. Hi, Red Rooster. No, that's just Argument fucked up. Over. Red Rooster is unbelievable, and I wish we had it here. I've made that clear multiple times. I wish we had Red Rooster in the UK. What an unbelievable place. I don't understand why so many Aussies hate on it. It's just proper greasy chicken with some unreal chips. I love it. Why? Oh, no. This is fine. I was going to say, if I'm, I'm not pushing this back. I'm pushing the other one back. Where am I from? What's your accent? Uh, well, my accent's kind of fucked up. Um, I'm from the UK. Uh, I'm from the UK, but I hang out with Americans all the time. And I used to live in Australia for like a year. So it's kind of a mix. So there'll be some Australian in there, some American in there, and then some British in there. Yeah, now nah, it's another one. True. Oh, mate. Fucking fancy a Nando's. Uh, yeah, now nah, fancy fucking fucking sell by, mate. Yeah, now nah, yeah, happens though. Fancy a fucking Nando's, mate. Uh, yeah, now nah, you can do. <laughs> oh, dear. You guys are funny over there, man. Nando's is overrated fast food. They served me a cold burger. Right, don't take the fact you had a cold burger out on Nando's. Nando's is sensational. It is sensational. That is, an, in my opinion, an undisputable fact. But we don't have a problem calling all chips not crisps. Yeah, you got fucking chips, chips, and hot chips, mate. Fucking chicken. <clears throat> Wait, so this is 49. 49 was... Yeah, yeah, that is the top. W impression. Thank you. Yeah, I did live there for a year. Dated somebody for five years who was Australian. I've mastered 
the Aussie ways. Now, whether or not the Australians want to agree with it being the reality is up to them, but it's how it is. It's how it is and is an indisputable fact. Uh, this is not a trading hall, no. This is going to be our mine when it's all done and dusted. You have not. I have. I know you guys don't want to accept the reality of the situation, but that's it. Bullshit, you like VB. I don't believe no one talks like you're in pressure. You guys absolutely do. I'm sorry. You do. I can't, you can't say nobody likes VB, because if nobody liked VB and nobody drank VB, VB would go out of business. So... They obviously do, because it's very much in business. I actually, I didn't even mind it. I thought VB was bagging, to be honest with you. I'd quite happily have a pint of that. I'd quite happily have a pint of that in a pub. VB is Victoria Bitter. VB is crap next to Foster's. I'd quite happily have a VB. However, my go-to beer over there was Furphy. What an unbelievable beer. I know it's an ale, but... I'm not a big ale fan, but Furphy was just insane. One of the best beers I've ever had. Um, I don't mind. What do you have? You have Colton Dry and Colton Draft over there as well. They were pretty good. But Furphy for me was... That was number one. Um, old men over 50 drink VB. I, I, I didn't think it was too bad. Although I am pretty old. I'm getting on now. I am getting on, and that's the reality of the situation. Right, before we do any of this... Oh, this is just going to suck, but it's fine. Let me do this so it doesn't, like, mess the wall up. VBs for those who can't afford a real beer. Wow. Wow. Shots fired at the VB lovers. Like, I'm not saying that like, I would go and that be my first choice, by the way. I'm just saying it like it was... I'd happily have a pint of it. It's not an issue. Like, it was, it was okay. No, I didn't get to try a Great Northern. Take home beer in AU is crazy expensive. Take home beer? Like his take home beer. You're talking about just beer in like a can or something or a bottle? You go buy a crate. Joe you know is nuts over there as well. I don't know if America have this. But in Australia, if you want to buy alcohol, you have to go to a fucking bottle. Like in the UK, you just go to the normal supermarket, you go down the beer aisle, and you go and buy a lot of beer. But not like, oh ding ding. But in Australia. You have to go to a dedicated bottle over with some, the fucking license. Just a waste of time. Like, just put it in the supermarket. It's everything else. Crazy stuff, Johnny. Depends on which state in America. Do you have a drive through bottle over? No. No. It's because it's pointless. Just go to the shop to get my own week shopping. And then there's a big, massive aisle of alcohol. You've got the beer aisle, you've got a wine aisle, you've got a whiskey aisle. You go down there, you've stocked your fucking thing up with crates and crates of beer, and you leave, and you pay, and you walk out the store with all your groceries and your beer. Australia has that. Oh, I never saw one of them. You had to go to a specific place to buy it. Sit in the car, they bring it to you. It's just pointless. Just get it while you're in the shop. It's next to it. Yeah, why is it next to it? That's dumb. You don't need a separate shop. Just put it in the main shop. That's stupid. Keep logic out of it. I know. No, I don't give a bollocks if you bottle shops next door to the supermarkets. I don't care. They're pointless. Put them in the supermarket. Just make an aisle of alcohol. Because then I can go down here and get my bread. Go down here and get my beer. Done. Fish bash. Job done. Yeah, it's not updated here, man, mate. I don't know. I don't People came over and ran the command, but nobody told me what it was beaten at. So I can't update it. 
Uh, and Imp's not here at the moment. He's in uh, shopping with his dad. The point of a drive through is to not get out of your car. But you're already out of your car doing your shopping. Level 10, 47%. Okay, one second. Uh, chat, our train's been beaten. Uh, edit, com, uh, train. Uh, oh, crap. Two, one. It's in the lead. Level 10, 47. There we go. That should all be updated. Who buys alcohol once a week with a shopping? The British. That's who buy <laughs> The British, baby. Woo! We're out by the end of the week, mate. There's a lot of places in the U.S. where grocery stores or supermarkets can't sell alcohol. Yeah, and that's stupid. Here there are only dedicated stores. One state south has beer and wine in supermarkets, but not liquor. It's crazy, man. You only just got... Oh, you still haven't got it, bad mate. LOL! Guess what channel did break level 10 and get everybody the bleed purple emote? Have we got any, uh, got any people here with the animated bleed purple emote? Just show man mate what he could have had. Let him know. Seven shot means you don't have to stand behind people doing a week's worth of shopping to get your beer. No, don't try and justify it, man. Don't try and justify it. It's a stupid concept. They should sell it in the same shop they sell everything else. One place where you still are to pump your own gas. What? You're not allowed to pump your own fuel into your car. What? That's not a thing, surely. Some states in the US are like that. Why? That's dumb. A common America L right there. Because you... You can't be trusted to fill your car up. Is that what it is? Yeah, that sucks. Wow, I can't lie, Americans. That that is just butt cheeks. Fuck that. Hey, button. Hey there. I have the answer for you. Okay. Under the liquor laws, you have to be over eighteen to sell alcohol. A large percentage of supermarket workers are under eighteen years of age. So we either lose jobs for under eighteen year olds, or just have a separate store right next door that has beer already cold. Well, Johnny, we've solved that in the UK. We've solved that in the UK. By saying, it doesn't matter if you're buying it and you've got ID for it, you can have it. Doesn't matter if you're 12 sat working at the checkout, 5 years old sat working at the checkout, or 16 years old sat working at the checkout, or 50 year old fucking Eileen sat working at the checkout. If you've got ID, it's yours. And that is another reason the UK is superior to Australia in every single way. I actually don't know if that's true. I think if you're under 18, you can't sell it. But still. You just go, beep. 16-year-old's working there. Beep. Manager. Yeah. Done. See you later. Sounds like you guys just do everything extremely inefficient in Australia. Which completely lines up with my original story. of My original point of you guys are extremely behind the times. So, I am sorry, Aussies, but all you've done is proven my point. Ah, who cares? Just get out of it.
Morning, Zach. Morning, morning. I wonder if it makes sense to just come from the top down. That probably makes a lot more sense. Uh, that's crazy, man. And I know the law in America is 21 to drink. But I, I really struggle to believe that most Americans actually wake to that age. In the UK, the age to drink on private property is five. If you are five years of age, you can legally drink on private properties. UKW, baby. Makes me laugh when I see TikToks of uh, Americans like, I'm 21, get me a beer. You're like, brother, I've been drinking for like a decade already, man. What the hell? does make you laugh. I think I was 10. Yeah, I think I was 8 when I tried my first beer. It was a sip of my dad's Stella. And, uh... It was fucking horrible. I hated everything. I know I love a Stella, obviously, but... Back then... Nah. When I first started drinking, I like house parties and stuff. When I was 13... I'd have like two cans of Carly and I'd be battered. I don't believe five should be allowed. No parent actually sits at home and gives their five-year-old a beer. Nobody does that. But you can if you want to. You don't go, fucking happy birthday, son. Here's a sippy cup with a pint in it. Doesn't know. I think you can be 16 and have a drink with a meal and then 18 to actually buy alcohol like in like a pub or something. Yeah, son, have a fucking pint, mate. Happy birthday. Don't think there is a pint to sippy cup. I don't know. Might be worth researching. Johnny, with the 200 bits. Talk to me, baby. Hey, Button. Hey there. Well then, according to a 2015 article, 12.1% of people in the UK are considered to have an alcohol use disorder, <laughs> compared to 7.8% in the US and 3.7% of Australians, so it's going fine. Well, GG. I'm going to hit you with this fact, Johnny. We're going to exclude Australia from this part. We're just going to focus on the American part. 7.8% of the US have an alcohol disorder, right? There are, what, 300 million people in the United States. What's 7.8% of 300 million? It's a lot of people. 7 million, is it? 7 million? Something like that? No, it's more than that. 21 million people, roughly. Now, the UK has a population of about 68 million people. 12% of that, so it should take 10, would be 6.8, would be 10. So you look at about 8%. 8, 9, 8 or 9 million people in the UK have an alcohol disorder versus Americans, 21 million people. So just by that math and that logic, I would say that there are more Americans, in fact, have an alcohol problem with their rule than the UK. <laughs> uh, but that's because there's more people. Yeah, doesn't disprove the point. It's a stupid way of looking at it. No, it's not. It's an efficient way of looking at it. The reason there's so many alcoholics in the UK is because if it's raining, we go to the pub. If it's sunny, we go to the pub. True. The problem with the UK is this, right? There's nothing to do. Right? In America, you can go... There's so many things you can do in America. It's a massive place. You've got, like, massive lakes and stuff you can go to. You've got beaches you can go to. You've got massive areas of land to go and do shit on. Because it's sunny a lot of the time. And in the UK, it's miserable. So we have built plenty of pubs. As you can see, this is a map of all the pubs in the UK. So when it's raining, there's nothing to do. So you go to the pub. 
here's a nice little close up of where is this London presumably uh, I can't actually see whereabouts that is yeah it is London boom is that London it says Waterloo up there this is a map of every pub in the UK here's a bit of a zoomed in version so if it's raining you go to the pub but if it's hot you go and sit in a beer garden because there's nothing else to do so yeah I I can't think of anything better to do when it's sunny than go to the pub. In the UK, you can either go to the pub or sail across the world and conquer natives' people. Uh, so all that's left to do now is pub. Correct. The beach, UK beaches are shit. Uh, there's some nice ones, I guess, on like the south coast, but even then, they're still a bit shit. So what else is there to do? You go to the pub. No, we have beaches. They're just not very nice. And most of them are made of fucking pebbles. Who wants to go to a pebble beach? Fuck that. Uh, I don't think they're mostly pebbles, but a lot of them are pebbles. And that's just pointless. No, no one wants to go sit on some stones. That's just crap. When you think of a beach, you think of like nice white sand, nice blue ocean. You know, not like fucking Great Yarmouth. Here's a nice image of Great Yarmouth. Wow, nice brown sea. I don't mind yellow sand. Look at that. Doesn't that just look lovely for the day? Fuck that. No way. I'll be in the pub if you need me. Dorset has some nice beaches. I've been to Dorset many times. Some lovely places in Dorset. I will, I will defend Dorset all day long. But it's an exception. Portugal is not in the UK. <laughs> so... No, we do have some nice beaches. I completely agree with that. But are they worth driving four hours to go to? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. So if you need me, I'll be in the pub. Which is... Why can I hear a buzzing sound? Anybody else hear a buzzing sound? It's on the sub channel for some reason. It doesn't make any sense because we have a ground new pie slayer on there. What do you trust me? I don't trust many people. If you ask me the question, have I ever given you, have you ever given me a reason to not trust you? No. I promise it's safe, but can I post a link? Unfortunately, it is sub-only links, my boy. So you're going to have to send... Oh, but you knob. You're going to have to send it on uh, on Discord. It is sub-only links, I'm afraid. I do have to stick to that as well. I wish I could make an exception, but we can't. Johnny solved the problem. Never mind. Post away, Bubba Burger. You're all gravy. Uh, one second. What on earth is that link? Play it. It's safe. This buzzing sound is really getting on my nerves. One second. Hold up. Oh my 
Holy fuck, the amount of dust that just came up the back of that. <laughs> Nasty. I think I just lost like a year of my life going back there. Fuck that. That is dusting badly. Can you be 100% honest? I mean, I'd rather you didn't lie, so yeah. Ugh. That song was horrid. Well, that's mean. Poor mother burger. She's worked hard on that. Please listen to it. Is it DMCA friendly? It is. Okay. Where is it? Buttons Blocky Adventures. Oh God, what the fuck is this gonna be? The streamer from across the pond His name is Button He's got a love for Minecraft and boy He's always strutting building cow torture devices With redstone contraptions so fancy But sometimes he's too hungover to stream <laughs> Oh, it can get quite chancy Oh, it can get quite chancy Button, Button King of the Twitch scene Playing Minecraft Creating chaos With a mystery Have you made this? I mean, that was just... Uh, I mean, Shazam's great, but that doesn't mean it's DMCA friendly. I, I, I genuinely don't know what to say. Um, that was... That was something. Um, yeah, I mean... Oh, it actually has the vocals on here. They didn't understand some of the things it was saying. Use it as an intro. I don't know if that's DMCA friendly at all. I don't know how Mama Burger got 100% when it's made by AI, but still. I mean, it was quite impressive. It was quite impressive, but that could be the end of my career. I'm about to be sued for everything that I own. I mean, it's just... It was something...
is what it is. It was nice knowing you, lads. Take care. So, out of curiosity, Mother Burger, what have you actually typed in to achieve that? Have you typed in, make a song about a streamer called Button, who used to drink a lot and was usually too hungover to stream, but that's not the case anymore. And he's got viewers from all over the world. Am I sure I want to know? Now that just is just scary. There is a real issue coming to the world soon with AI. How the fuck are people going to know what's real and what's fake? Even some of the deep fake images are crazy, man. A British pop song about a Twitch streamer named Button. He plays Minecraft building cow torture devices while he streams when he's not too hungover to do it. They also did a heavy metal alternative. Uh, it is Rob, yeah. I know Nurevac. This is what I mean. Some of the deep fakes are pretty crazy. And there's a there's a big issue in the world at the moment where a lot of people believe absolutely everything they read on the internet. So it's genuinely quite scary when you think about it. You can already say that about images made by people. Why does it matter if it's AI? Well, there was an image that went round on Twitter a while back of Taylor Swift being absolutely wrecked from behind by some big black guy. And it genuinely <laughs> looked so real. Obviously, anyone with like the smallest amount of intelligence would have questioned the integrity of it. But it was... It looked extremely real. And it was fake. But a lot of people believed it. And I'm sure there's many other things. I saw something yesterday of a video. Uh, I can't remember the artist. It might be Drake or something. It was coming out on stage and everyone was going nuts. And somebody had made an AI version where it turned Drake or whoever it was into Hitler. And Hitler came out onto the stage and was waving and everyone was going nuts. Now, you could very clearly tell it was fake. But if that's the way things are going, like <laughs> it won't be long before you actually won't be able to tell. Like, it's crazy. It is crazy. Saw so a thing the other day uh, about a deep fake uh, video used as a CEO FaceTime an employee telling to move the funds to account. Yeah, I saw that. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, I saw that as well, Rob. Scammed out of millions because it managed to deep fake the CEO telling them to send X amount of money to a certain account. Crazy. And this is the way the world's going. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty bananas, man. It is pretty bananas. There was a guy that did something similar with malware, though. He did it with malware where it would... You did something. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't like a virus. I mean, it's obviously... Malware is a virus, but it, it wasn't like uh, just like download this and get it. There was a way that he did it. I can't remember the way it was. But basically, it would upload some sort of a program to your, your PC and then use a very small, unnoticeable amount of your resources on your computer to mine Bitcoin. And as that spread across hundreds and thousands of devices, obviously that 
5% of a CPU that's using scales up pretty fast, right? Or GPU, whatever. Scales up pretty quickly. And this guy made a lot of money from it. And, uh... And that all started because of something very similar. Something very similar. Where some thing was, like, faked using AI. It's just nuts, man. Don't get me wrong. The guy that came up with that is a fucking genius. Like, that is absolutely genius. No one would even know. Can't be picked up by software. Or anti-malware software. Uses a minimal amount of resources that nobody would actually notice. And you can infect millions of devices. Under the radar. And make millions of dollars. Crazy. Did a whole podcast about it. It was quite interesting. Whilst wearing a 50 grand Rolex. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we're going to have to find a use for this deep slate, by the way. Some nerds would notice a 5% drop. I mean, true. You posted them in Discord. Are they all done with the same phrase? Or are they done... Or have you put different things in? Different song types. I saw sort of want to listen to them, but I am sort of scared about the copyright side of it. Ding ding. Ding ding. One. Well, oh, there we go. Two. Rubbish. You baited me to play on one mama burger. Now my job is at risk. How can they copyright it if Mama Burger created it? But Mama Burger didn't create it because it, she did it with AI, which AI uses assets that are publicly available. And whether or not it, it avoids using copyrighted ones, and I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this website. But hopefully it uses non-copyrighted sounds and things like that. You're fine. Mm, you don't know. It is a legal minefield. It is. You get a strike, you can bar me for a week. No. Just, what, uh, no. <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't want to ban you for a week. Scammers stealing from huge corporations makes up 5% of the theft they experience. The other 95% is embezzlement and other white collar fraud that doesn't get prosecuted. Do you know what's crazy? This is something I was thinking about the other day. And it actually... I, I guess it's sort of a scary thought, but also kind of an interesting thought. Right? And it's basically, I linked it to people that are higher up in companies or own companies or very close to owning companies, CEOs, things like that. If you were to play a game of football between two teams, the winner gets $10,000 and there was no referee. Is one of those teams or both of those teams or somebody within those teams likely to cheat? Yes. Right? So when you transfer that over to the world of business, how many people in higher up positions that could get away with it do that sort of shit? Because it must be millions. It must be in the millions. There must be so many people that do that. It's quite scary to think about in a way. And you'd have no idea. Because they're in control of everything that drops down. It's just nuts. Um, it does make you wonder, man. How many people at these companies are actually sort of filtering money, you know, under the radar through to them and stuff? I bet it's loads of people. Millions. 
Insider trading is a, is a massive one. But these people that don't have anybody above them. Why would they not cheat? Do you know what I mean? So essentially, the average person is fucked. Right. The average person like you and I is absolutely fucked. <laughs> That's the reality of it. We're all screwed. Um, and it even goes down to smaller levels. I know people who are managers at McDonald's who are friends of mine that give out free food or extremely cheap food to friends. And that's just a burger as a manager at McDonald's. That's what you could do if you're a CEO of McDonald's. Like, you know, or a branch manager or something like that. Just nuts, mate. It's just a food for thought. It's just interesting to think about. In fact, there may even be people sat watching this stream or semi hired a company that do something similar. I know, Plasma. I know. Gilly! 99! 99 months of sub go by. Thanks, Gilly. How you doing, pal? Good to see you. Almost the big 100s. Are you suggesting your humans influence businesses? Businesses, markets, cash flow. The point of all that is basically saying the average person is genuinely fucked. Like, there's no... You're at a humongous disadvantage. The system works against you. And everybody that's higher than you and above you just fucks everybody else over so they can get rich. It's just an interesting food for thought. That's it for you. It just made me think, realistically, who is there as a higher up to stop them from doing anything? Nobody. There's no one there. So they can do what they want. <laughs> it's just fucking... It's ridiculous. Now all I can say is that uh, I am the owner of Button Entertainment. Lol, guess what chat, I've been funneling all of your bits and sub money into fucking bills, have some of that, how do you feel, you've all been taken for a mug, you thought you were supporting the stream, wrong, it's been going in income tax, it's been going on electricity bills, and a couple of pints at the pub, boom, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I mean, beer bits, yes, but I'm introducing a brand new concept, beer bits. I've been taking all of this money and putting it all in fucking Pepe. Have some of that. It's all going in Pepe. Pepe to the moon. Um, to be super clear, many studies have been done by institutions like Oxfam showing how deep rich cheating rabbit hole, how deep the rich cheating rabbit hole goes. I imagine Oxfam may, Oxfam may be conducting these studies, but I imagine there's people in Oxfam that do exactly the same thing. What is this song, by the way? This is weird. I feel like I'm in a pizza parlor or something. <clears throat> but I just thought I'd share that bit of information because I found it fascinating, firstly. And I know not everybody would give a shit, but maybe that is something that certain people find fascinating.
Go with me here, button. You take the bits. Buy a pub. Install fast internet. Set up a combo pub slash streaming venue. Charge others to come and stream. Genius idea. Genius idea. It wasn't long ago, actually. My local pub was actually up for sale. And there was a small part of it that was like, I wonder if I could afford this. And then I just out of curiosity had a chat with the uh, the landlady about it. Not that I could afford it. It was just more of a curiosity thing. Uh, and yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely not. But they didn't want as much as I thought they'd want for it. I thought they would they'd be looking at something like half a mil. But they really weren't. They were looking for like half of that. Which, I mean, if you had a good income... Getting a mortgage on something like that is probably not out of the realms of possibility. Probably not out of the realms of possibilities. That was for the venue and license. Which I didn't think was too bad. Granted, this was during like COVID times, pubs were struggling. Small businesses were struggling, so... But that price is probably in the 300, 350s now. But... At the time... No, that's exactly why they were selling. Like, the, the people that own it... I'm, I know them fairly well. But... The, the husband of the, the landlady... Is a millionaire. He has his own business. And this pub was just like a project for her to just do something with. Uh, and so it was all business related. Pubs were going down the shitter. They were losing money. So they were just like, let's just sell. Cash in. See you later. Um, and yeah. If, if I had the money, I probably would have done it. Because it was very obvious to me that COVID wasn't going to last forever. The world could not continue the way it was going. It just just can't right so had i have actually been able to do that i probably would have considered it and it had a place upstairs to live and i could have lived there streamed there and then just pop downstairs for a bit the problem is i'd probably be pissed 99 of the time and probably die of liver failure because it'd be far too easy to just pop downstairs for a pint because you own the place and it doesn't matter So in hindsight, it's probably best that I don't live above the pub and own it. Imagine the noise. Well, apparently it's not too bad because the person that used to live up there was one of the people that worked there. One of the, the, the bar ladies. Um, she said, I can't hear a thing. Which isn't too bad. And the pub always shut at like, always shuts at like half 11 latest. So, I don't go to bed till half eleven, one anyway. So, even if I could, it's something it wouldn't make a difference to me. Would be cool to own a pub. I don't know what I'd call it, though. Barton, do you drink milk thistle? Atomic. Milk this and atomic to help your liver recover. Eh? What? Anything milk related is a no-go, buddy. That'll be the end of button. That is me. Bye-bye. That is poof. Dead. In the ground. Alright, we need it there, folks. Milk thistle is not milk based. I don't, I've never even heard of milk thistle. I don't know what that is. You'd call it Buttons Pub. No, because that's such a boring name. And I wouldn't want to call it like the Red Lion or something like that. Can you change the name of a pub or is that bad luck? I don't even know if you can do that. Like it's bad luck to uh, like change the name of a ship, for example. Is it bad luck to change the name of a pub? I don't know. The red button. Hey, boom. That's not bad. The 
the buttonhole. No, because you know, I, I try to think of it as what would you say to your mates? Uh, do you want to go down the button for a beer? That sounds stupid. Please don't go down me. You know? It had to be, it, wouldn't, it couldn't be button related. It'd have to be like. I don't even know. Jack's Brewery. <laughs> I don't know what I'd call it. But I, I can't see myself owning a pub anytime soon. Button pub 13. <laughs> um, no. Genius idea, buy a pub, buy a Nando's franchise, pub serving chicken called the Drunk Cock Insider. <laughs> God. I mean, all of that is probably going to cost, what, a couple million? Do Nando's even do franchising? I know Subway do, I don't know if Nando's do. On day 5,000 of the street, Button has to use the bits to buy a pub. So if I had no bills, no outgoings, zero, like zilch, and saved every single bit, and the street hit 5,000, well, it'd be 5,000 times $50, which is... $250,000 minus income tax of 40%. So we're looking at, uh, should I do the math roughly in my head here? Maybe like 150K. $150,000. Convert it to pounds. You're going to lose $30,000 of that. It's about £110,000. This, this, this amount of money is getting considerably smaller rather fast. So I have £110,000 to buy... Well, I can't buy anything. I can't get a pub. I can't get Nando's franchising. I can't get anything. How many years is 5,000 streams? Well, if I streamed every single day, which I don't. Uh, 13 and a half years to get to 5,000 on the streak. So let's say I take 65 days off a year because that makes it a nice round number. Divided by 300. 16 and a half years. So, by calculation, 110,000 pounds divided by uh, 16 years is 6,800 pounds a year. Welcome to Stream of Millions, baby. Woo! Mate, I'm going to... Oh, we make so much fucking money, it's insane. <laughs> we make so much money, our streamers. Oh, God. But out here ruining my dreams with math. Yes. I'm sorry. Just buy the bar area. So I have to save my £6,000 a year. All of it. Not pay any bills ever. Have zero outgoing, so don't even eat or drink. And then maybe in 16 and a half years time, I can buy the bar area of a pub. Put it on red. <laughs> oh god. In other words, chat, we need to find other ways to make money. 
the bit goal has to be multiplied by 10. We now need 50,000 bits every day. And maybe <laughs> in 16 years, we can buy a pub. There you go. Oh, God. The battered sausage. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the battered sausage of the pub name. We have 16 and a half years to think about this at 50,000 bits a day. So it's all good. What will be the pub's gimmick? Uh, vending machines that give out blue prime crowns. That you can wear for the day while you're at the pub. You put a pound in, money goes to, I don't know, the ch charity or something like that. And you have a 50% chance of winning a blue prime crown. Oh, yeah, we didn't do trapdoors. Thank you. Mr. Crunch with the 500 bits. Let's make a start. Let's make a start, Kappa. Yeah, let's go with this. How much is a pub to buy? Pubs for sale. Here we are. Here's a nice pub. Wow, that actually looks a really nice pub. Where is that? With a full license. Turns over £170,000 a year. Asking price, £425,000. Let's, uh, let's grab a calculator. Uh, uh, sorry, USD to GBP. So £425,000. Uh, oh, sorry, that's dollars. £425,000 is $529,000. Uh, in bits, that works... <laughs> in bits, that works out at... One level 110 hype train. There we go. And we're just about to be on one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's... Here we go. Pub fund. Level... Hype train is close. One person away from triggering a train. We need to hit level 110. And we'll be more or less there. So, uh, don't be shy now. Step right up. Use your prime subs. Use your prime subs. Get on in here. You don't need 425k, though. Well, true. So, which is why level 110 is about three... A bit of work out about 200, 250k after taxes. So, that's about half. That'll do. 50% deposit. Nice low mortgage. Bosh. <laughs> level 110. And Matt would probably still beat it the next day. Yep. Yep. Most likely. There it is. Here we go. <laughs> Level 110. We're going for it. Get on board, boys. Get on board. We're currently at level one. We're well on the way. Ballistic, thank you for the 13 months, mate. Welcome back. Almost 109 Buy levels to go. Renovated to include a HGH class sushi restaurant. Name? Pubbin Soy 13. <laughs> Pubbin Soy 13. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, the 200 bits. Uh, fight for your right. Thank you for the 100 bits. Oh shit, yeah, pickaxe is low. I didn't see that. Thank you. This mine is coming along nicely now, though. Look at this. We've got a nice. It's all laid out nicely. We've got the corner bits in. It's looking good. 94%, almost at level 2, 108 levels to go. It's on. Now, of course there'll be a dartboard in the pub. You have to have a dartboard in the pub. What pub doesn't have a dartboard? Uh, Doss, thank you for the two biddies, mate. Appreciate that. Filling up that cup because grey is, as we all know, the only way. With darts, sure. We'll have a little cup of darts that we can, you know, ask for behind the bar and go play darts. Sure. Wonder how long it'll take before some idiot gets pissed and decides to put his hand on the board. Seems to be a, a game that I see fairly regularly played across many pubs. People get drunk, put their hand on the board and let their friend throw a dart. 
Probably the stu <laughs> stupidest game I've ever seen, but there you go. <laughs> Have I ever partaken? Absolutely fucking not. I genuinely don't understand how you can get that drunk that you think that's a good idea. Um, what about Button Mash Brewery, where it's a, where it's button related, but also throws in gaming terms, and it's a pub. Gaming terms. I'll have a pint of your finest creeper, please. Oh, we need to actually repair this. Love a bit around the world. Around the world's a good pub. I don't, I don't mind normal dark games in a pub. Three colours, around the world. Uh, 101. Fun games. All fun games. Two minutes left on level one, boys. Get on board. Get on board. This is the pub fund. 109 levels to get. <laughs> on a serious note, Matt has taken our record at level 10, by the way. So if we can beat that, fantastic. Skeleton shots. Genius. I'd say it's unlikely we're going to beat Matt's, uh, Matt's train, but it is doable. Level 10, 47%. All doable. Mr. Crunch with the five gifted. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. It's very kind, pal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hundred and seven levels to go. To be fair, if we wanted to make money quickly, here's what I really need to do. I need to go to Insomnia, but like, hey guys, I want to do your merch booth. Because some guy, and this is a true story, every Insomnia, I usually buy a mouse map, right? They used to cost a tenner. You go up to the, the merch booth, mouse mats are a tenner. Happy days. Last year, the whole event, I'd use it when I got home and replace my old one. Like, right. no problem. However, Tonda, it's 51 months. Thank you so much, mate. What an odd number of years. However, I went up to. Thank you very much, Tonda. Appreciate that, pal. I went up to the merch stand. Not this is something just gone, the one before. I was like, how much is a mouse map? They were charging £20 for a mouse map. And I said to the guy, are you joking? These used to cost a tenner. And he said, they've never cost a tenner. And I said, mate, I've been coming to this event for like a decade. They used to cost a tenner. Anyway, I look at this guy's wrist. Now I know my watches, right? I know my watches very well. I look at this guy's wrist. He's wearing a two-tone Rolex Datejust. Now, that is about a £13,000 watch, right? Probably a little bit more. In dollars, maybe like seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000 watch, right? And I said to the guy, he's like £20 a mouse bat. I said to the guy, I'm not fucking surprised you can afford that Rolex charging these prices. <laughs> And he went bright red because I just completely called him out for having this watch on. <laughs> and he, he, he went bright red and was just like, well, what can I say? I was like, oh, there you go. So don't lie to me about how they didn't, they didn't use the cost of tenor when I know damn well they did. And I left. <laughs> he went bright red. I was like, no wonder you can afford that fucking watch. <laughs> oh, dear. He was so embarrassed, but he deserved it. Hi, Nag. How are you, mate? So I need to go to Insomnia, sell a bunch of mouse mats, and rather than spend 18 grand on a Rolex, put it towards the pub fund. <laughs> Two minutes left on the train, folks. Two minutes left on the train. We're taking Matt down. Level 10, 48%. It's all we need. The chances of taking Matt down are slim, but possible. 
but very possible. Mouse mats are more expensive now per unit uh, as they're making less. There's no way in hell a mouse mat costs anywhere near £10 to make. So their markup is at least 50%. Or at least 100%. Tonza, it's giving five subs. Thank you so much, pal. Keeping the train alive. Level four. Boom. It's... Oh my god. Hundred million dollar business idea. We need to make and start selling mouse moots. Oh my god. Mouse moots. 106 levels to go for the pub. Tons out. Thank you for the five gifted, mate. Really appreciate that. Kanga with 100 bits. Level 4, 70%. We're almost halfway to uh, to taking the crown back from Matt straight away. Matt doesn't have a headshot. Actually, this will work. It's... Bear with me. Mouse Merts! <laughs> New business idea! Here we go! We're going to start selling Mouse Merts. Uh, Kaga, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, mate. Um, Bam Truck, thank you for the 111. Taking us to 74%. Need to find two subs to get us to level 5. Mouse Mertz. I don't know if there's like a magic wand tool in paint. I don't think there is. But this is a genius idea. Chat, how many of you would buy a Mouse Mert? Well, I wish I could get rid of this background with paint. I don't think you can do that. Is there a magic wand tool in paint? I don't think there is. What if I used a rubber? No, it's not going to work. You can? How do you use a mouse, uh, a magic wand thing in this? No. Are you sure? Oh! Bollocks. Wait, hold on. Get rid of Mert. Give me Mert again. Ha <laughs> ha! Mouse Mert. Put it like right there. Look at that! <laughs> yes! This is a fucking genius idea. I'm going to commission a custom mouse merch. Um, add, how do we add text? Tons Hatch, thank you for the 200 bits. A minute and 50 seconds to go. Tons' tip of the day. Don't be surprised when your ideas come back to bite you. No, I will always stick to paint. This is my thing. What do you mean my ideas come back to bite me? 72 is too big. What other fonts have we got? No. No. Mouse mer Look at that. That's gamery. Look at that. Oh, no. Black sucks. Wait. Me a different color. Comic Sans. Mouse Merts. This is a billion dollar business idea. No, I don't want background. But how do I change the color of the text, though? What? No, I just, just want... Mouse Merts. I'm putting far too much effort into this. How do I change the color of this? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, maybe like a grey. Maybe like a light grey. There we are! Mouse 
mouse birds. <laughs> oh, can you actually? Can we actually get this manufactured? And I will give it to Matt. <laughs> Somebody said this to him. Um, this is a million dollar business idea. Tons, actually, thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate it. Wow. Across the shiny forehead. Well, we've got to fill this blank space somehow. Speaking of mice, what one do you use again? And why should someone buy one and sell me on it? I don't get a commission for that shit. No, wait. I use a Logitech G502. It's perfect in every way for me. I'm going to DM it to him. Cut the blank space. I don't even know how you do that. Where's my Discord? Oh, it's here. Ah! It's million, million dollar idea. New merch. I'm so proud of this. Mouse merch. <laughs> What a fucking waste of time that was. Anyway. Um, need a wireless charging port on the most merch pad. True. Matt does like his technology. He might actually see it straight away to be fair. Let me pull this up. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? You're not ready for this. Did uh, bunch <laughs> Mouse merch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kian, how are you, mate? <laughs> Nobody wants the mouse merch, okay? Why would anybody want that with I my want one. face on it? <laughs> also, button, your 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 uh, your shading is terrible here. You would, you want one? <laughs> God damn it, button. <laughs> that's all that's really good but also really bad no it's not do you know what i can actually put that up for sale chat i can actually put that up for sale i'll take 10. <laughs> oh god can i imagine it does that oh, have an option to come god. in a gloss finish <laughs> Wait, hang on. you want 20 percent wow see chat Bottom wants 20 percent I don't, I don't even... You, you don't make that much money on merch, but some people... Like Mouse Merch work. Franchise. That's why a lot of us do it. Floor Merch. We don't make a lot of money on it. At all. Door Merch. <laughs> Butler wants 20%. Right. Um, so... Car Merch. So, uh, mail and your name. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Read your chat, Matt. So, we want... Uh, shadow... Uh, <laughs> fuck... Zero, like that. Now, I'm Could pretty be a credit sure card. this character is male. Bathroom so merts. Good. Where's the... Oh, here it is. <laughs> the the match you put on the table. Make sure. Uh, <laughs> Take care of it. No, that's not fair. Mate. Bloody Wait, Regis chat, man. Sorry, you're fired. <laughs> fired. Right, okay. We need... Uh, Safety merch. Drinks merch. Kylan. Kylan sounds like a, a bell name, right? God, he's useless at reading his chat. Like, we're doing a long stream today, chat. Don't worry. It's we're going to be here for a while. Day. Yes, right. Okay, hang on. Right. Come back here, you. He just looked at a, his chat. You've got to be renamed. B, you are way too small. Too big, I mean. Excuse me. Now <laughs> you're a hobbit. <laughs> Bed merch. <laughs> Mouse Mertz franchise, floor Mertz, door Mertz. Oh my god, why? <laughs> why? Why are there ears on that face? All, we all, all. Oh dear. I thought that was a, a weird little, uh, a weird little side thing that we just went down, but amusing nonetheless. Make the mouse Mert and sell it before he gets a chance. I've asked 20%. I think that's more than fair. I mean, you, the thing is, you could literally make them. You could contact a company, but like, I want a hundred of these. Limited edition mouse merts. <laughs> it's an expa 
Ah, no, it's a wine. A nice Mertlow. Oh, God. It's a genius brand idea. I'm already tired of hearing creator cards pushes. What do you mean? We don't have creator cards here. I wouldn't mind doing them to be fair, because they are cool just to like have to like look back on memories. It's not something that I would be I know there's a couple of channels that I won't name that really shove them down your throats, but there wouldn't be anything like that. There wouldn't be nothing like that. It'd just be there if you want it. It's a cool little memoir. You can build a cool collection. Because like the idea behind like rocks was fantastic. Like you had a memory that you could like create collect a card for. You could get different like tiers of them. Super cool. Uh Like, yeah. Can't enjoy moments in stream anymore without, hey, buy my cards. Well, again, it wouldn't be a case if you just shoved it down your throat. It'd be like, hey, new cards available. Bam. You want it, you want it. You don't, you don't. That's it. 3006 Matt. Long time no see, buddy. How are you? Vilcrit. Wow. Gift to the sub to Buttons Moustache. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. I do think they're a cool idea, but I, I can I can see your point, Mama Burger. Uh, it could potentially be too much if they are just forced, you know, constantly. Your credit cards is 10 left, you know. However, on the flip side of that, streaming, especially at the level that I do and other creators do as well, it's sort of, it's sort of right on that fence line of making enough money to get by and, uh, you know, being able to do it full time. So things like that do sometimes have to happen anyway for business reasons. You know, unfortunately, when you stream for a job, the money aspect does have to come into it. So, uh, Creator cards are an external program created by uh, a, a guy who's watched a lot of our streams for a while. Um, it's basically if a moment happens on your stream, I could make like a card out of it where people could then buy that card and save that memory in like their collection. And then it's almost like making a donation, but getting something like in return. Um, the concept of it is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Kian, I hope you're doing well, mate. I, I'm sorry. I don't understand why you had issues, by the way, at the thing at that place the other day. Um, especially if you calibrated it. I don't know which sort of bay you were in, but the middle bays are, are pretty spot on, I think. The balls are a bit strange. The balls don't go anywhere near as far as they used to. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but the uh, I, don't, I don't think it's horrendous. The yards, the yard is like 20 to 40 yards out each time. What, you like the ball landed like I say 150 and it was reading 110. Really? Shit. Cherry can confirm I'm addicted to credit cards. They are cool. They are cool. The cards sound like NFTs. They're not NFTs because it's not it's not like you own that specific thing and that's it. I mean you can make limited amounts. Uh it's more like just creating a collection of memories from the stream where you can look back and be like, whoa, two years ago, I remember this. This was fucking sick. And you get different tiers. You get bronze, silver, gold, and I think platinum. Platinum being obviously super, super rare. So people want to collect them and stuff like that. But it's got nothing to do with, yeah, it's got nothing to do with blockchain technology or anything like that. It's completely external. It's literally, you tip a streamer like you would through like Streamlabs or something, but you get like a memory or so in return. Um, I hit my 7 iron about 175 yards. And it's reading barely 150 on the screens. Was the ball landing 150 though? Because there's but the balls are weird there. They are very weird. I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand why they're so far out. Like, I know there's like some sort of a technology in them that helps them to be tracked, but they don't go anywhere near as far as a normal ball does. Nowhere near as far. 
like the old balls, I'd be comfortably driving well into the 200s, right? To 30, 40, 50 yards. No problem. But these ones, if I break 200, I do well. But the actual yardage it's going does read correctly from my experience. It does read correctly. Yeah, it's good to have you here, Matt. Yeah, we're going overtime today. Today was supposed to be a 12-hour marathon. Um, unfortunately, that got postponed because I had the worst night's sleep last night. Managed a total of one hour and 50 minutes. I went to bed at six. I got in bed at about half past 11 midnight sort of time because I usually go to sleep about one. Just tossed and turned for hours. Fell asleep at about 6 a.m. My alarm went off at uh, 10 to 8. So I had a nice hour and 50 minutes. And there's no way I could do a 12 hour off of that. So we uh, unfortunately are, uh, had to postpone it till Monday. But we're doing a bit of a longer stream today anyway. So usually I'd finish 20 odd minutes ago. But 50, 50 20 minutes ago. But we're not, we're not doing that. We're going over time. I don't know how long. We're just going to keep streaming. Might have had a good stream. Yeah, maybe. Might be worth having another go sometime in a different bay, but... I'm very surprised you had the... the even though the balls carry less, I'm surprised that it wasn't showing the uh, the yardage it was actually going. But on the ultimate goal, get all the money, buy a football club, glazes out, button in, te <laughs> team renamed and Manchester United. I don't think that would go down very well. But if I was a billionaire and I had $10 billion to my name, I absolutely would buy Manchester United. I'd give them the $6 billion they want, get rid of the Glazers, and I'd make Manchester United great. I would. Absolutely. Because $10 billion is pointless. You have $10 billion, whatever. I don't need $10 billion. $4 billion, my life's not going to change, you know? I'd absolutely buy United if I had uh, the money. Well, that is almost a guaranteed never. Four billion in my life would change a lot. Mm. Although one thing I would not do, if I ever came across even a couple hundred grand, I wouldn't tell a soul. There might be signs of it. Maybe I have a new car. Or... Have like a nice jumper I'm wearing. Or a new pair of shoes. But I wouldn't tell a soul. Because money changes people. And, uh... Yeah. Money changes people. And I, I think one of the biggest fears I'd have if I ever had a good amount of money would be that people were only friends and talking to me because I had money, not because they actually wanted to be my friend. I imagine that's quite difficult for anybody that's rich. I just have a lot more beer in your house. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, I saw a PC giveaway. Whoa! We're giving away 20 40 90s. Holy shit. Yo, uh, Vice City, rename the Merchants City and dissolve the club. Oh, mate. Do you know what? That'd be so good. I mean, I don't think their charges are going to come in at all. I would love if they did. It'd be fucking amazing. But if I had a hundred billion pounds, I'd buy City and I would dissolve it. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck City. It'd be beautiful. The world would be a better place. Look, if I could stick around for you to go from bottom by age 50 to see you grow facial hair, get plastered on a stream, I think I'll be okay no matter how much money you have. No, of course. I'm meaning more like IRL people. You know, how many people who were like old school friends were like, hey, mate, how are you? It, uh,. I'm pretty good at reading people anyway, but it'd be... Fuck that. You know, obviously there's people that have been around forever, it wouldn't make a difference. And you're well aware of that. But the amount of people that would come in and try to be your friend would be... 
Off dock. Luckily, I have a whopping $12 in my bank account at the moment. That's to last me the next three days. I have $12 to my name. And that ain't an issue. <laughs> Uh, do you see if 50, 80, and 90 might be announced at Q4 this year? I think we're due it. That'll be two years. So I think we're due it. You need a new GPU. It's 1080 still going strong, but I, I know it wants to leave the world. I can't lie, 306, Matt. If you do upgrade to like a... I mean, you'd be silly to get a 2000 series. But if you bought even like a 3070, 4070... Maybe even a 50-70 when that came out. The difference in performance is bananas. I went from a 2080 Ti to a 3080, and the performance game is insane. If you went from a 1080 to like a 3080 or a 4080, holy shit. It'd be mental. I've already said, though, I need to get a credit card. I don't have a credit card. I need to get a credit card. Because whenever GTA 6 comes out on PC, I'm going to buy whatever the top-of-the-line graphics card is, no matter the cost, for gaming. Obviously not like a Quattro, because that's stupid. But whether it's a 5090, a 6090, hit. Or anything like that, I'm going to buy a credit card. Buy a credit card? I'm going to get a credit card. I'm whacking it all on that shit. Because it'd be amazing. There's an offer on 4070s at the moment. £100 off. Is that on Amazon? Isn't it? Gotta be careful. Is it actually £100 off? Amazon are a bit sneaky. They're like, hey, look at this deal. And actually, it's the same price, but they just hiked it up a week ago. And claim it's a, a down... Uh, claim it's a, uh, a deal. Sounds like a good investment. It sounds like a brilliant investment. I don't know if you can write off stuff with credit cards, though. I don't know how that works with taxes. Obviously, if I have a business expense, I guess you could. It's still a business expense because you've got to pay it back. Yeah. Um... There was an open box, 4070 Ti Super at Best Buy that I didn't notice. That uh, was a Ti Super for 650 bucks. Damn, that'd have been nuts. Get a credit card in the name of the business, easy peasy. But I don't know if you can do it for just like a personal account. Because you can still do expenses that way. Especially if you're a sole trade. I don't know how that sort of works in America. But you have limited companies and sole traders in the UK. I don't know how that works in America if you have that or not. But So this is the current mine. Now, we're talking about doing like pillars that look like struts that was holding things up. Do we still do that? And if so, how are we going to implement this? I have no idea. Has anybody got any suggestions? Has anyone got any suggestions? You DM'd me. Is that about right, though? Let's have a look here. You gotta be careful with some of these. Some of them are a fucking scam. Yeah, there's one right here. Amazon do it for 539. Gotta be careful, man. Some of these places, like, they're advertising that as a sale. That's not a good deal. I found exactly the same card for 539 on Amazon. 100... 16% off. One left in stock. Additionally, uh, is having money to buy the damn thing. I keep spending on other shit instead of saving for a GPU. Oh, mate. The world is so expensive at the moment. It's shit. It actually sucks. Like, I don't understand how you're supposed to save money at all at the moment. It's just ridiculous. Everything costs so much. 
The problem I have, though, is I'm also a technology geek, right? So, do I need a 5090 when it comes out? No. Do I want one? Yes. Like, my computer smashes absolutely everything I throw in it. Do I need a new one? No. Would I like a new one? Yes. Do I want to give the best quality streams possible to the chat? Yes. Does that require the best equipment? Yes. So now I have to get one. You gotta be careful about buying an Amazon these days. Some people are selling under a Fisher name. It's not actually there. Really? You can very quickly check that though. If you click on it, you can see if it's an actual site or not. Reviews generally link across as well, so you can get a pretty good idea. So one of my buddies got three VR headsets. He's got two for free. Wow. Wow. I remember Severus, uh, when Nerd Fusion was initially starting up, he ordered, he needed a compressor. They, they had like one hour delivery in Seattle or something crazy. So he went on Amazon and ordered a compressor. It got delivered an hour later and he got a whole box of them. They charged him for one and he got eight. How crazy is that? Um, and obviously Amazon front that as, uh, as their loss. He said, I'll just keep hold of them for a month if I hear nothing. Settle. Done. See you later, Banasti. Have a good one, mate. Thanks for hanging out, my dude. We're getting there slowly. Operation Diamond Beacon is coming together. Maybe we should actually start building the beacon. Do I even have a beacon? You used to watch Severus? I used to love Severus. He's good. my favorite streamer. I don't know if I have a beacon. I think we... I want to say we use it in the subfloor. There's one here. I don't remember where the other one was. Oh, it's here. We did. Fuckers. I need to get another one now. That's good. 306 map. Amazon are pretty good with that. I had a guy... I don't understand how all this works to this day, but it was fucked up. This was probably seven years ago now. Maybe even a bit longer. I had a guy hack my Amazon account, right? This was back before 2FA and all that. I had some shitty passwords. Times are very different now, but... Back then, I had some shitty password. My Amazon account got hacked. And I don't understand how this worked, but what they did is they loaded up my account with gift cards... And then started buying a bunch of shit, right? They were buying CPUs, motherboards, graphics cards. And it was being sent to some Denmark address or Hungary address. I think it was Hungary. They were sending, me, sending it to some Hungary address. So Amazon were immediately like, this is not your house. Why is it going here? Blocked it all. Locked the account down. Nothing. Did that all automatically. So then obviously I woke up, whatever. Checked my emails, been hacked, blah, blah, blah. Secured the whole account. Change the password, everything like that. Logged back into the account. I could see everything that they bought. But my gift card balance was £750. And they had re what Amazon had done is they had refunded all of the gift cards that they had loaded onto my account. And cancelled all of the orders that they had ordered. So I was like, what the actual fuck? So I left it for like a month or two. Didn't touch it in case they sort of removed it. They never did. That's so why I spent it. So I got a free £750 worth of Amazon gift cards because of some scammer or hacker that I'd got into my account. I don't know what the hack was that involved using gift cards. I have no idea. But I got £750 worth of free gift cards. So if anybody wants to do the same thing again, let me know. We'll get it sorted. Ah, oh, what a win. I bought a new CPU. I bought a 980. Ah, oh, it was brilliant. It was great. Um... And yeah, basically all my Amazon orders for the next six months were free. It was fantastic. Um, I don't know what to do about this mine, man. I'm not sure. I was going to extend this up as well. So this was all like... No, I don't know, mate. 
That one you can buy, is it? Yeah, true. I bought I bought an i7 4790K and I bought a EVGA 980. Which was 500 pounds and I think 250 pounds. Something, something like that. But it was all free. Maybe it was 450 for the 980. I don't know. It would be in my orders somewhere. But yeah, it was free. Um, oh, what are we going to do about the pillars in here, man? I don't fucking know. What would look good? I, don't, I'm I can't even visualize anything that would look good with pillars here. I don't know. Hi, Kaz. How are you? Has anybody got any suggestions, chat? Yeah, the best what the best part was to have are those fucking random ones that Apple generate nowadays. They're insane. They're absolutely nuts. You have that with two FA with fucking seed phrases and all sorts. It's just crazy. A creature holding it up. Yeah, we can't build like a detailed looking creature in this gap. Yeah, I don't know what the scam was involving the gift cards, but Amazon refunded all of them and I got £750 worth of free money. Happy days. I don't know where my 980 is nowadays. I must have put, gave it to someone and put it in a system. Who did I give it to? I don't even know. I think I gave it to, maybe I gave it to my cousin. Might have been him. Uh... No, I wouldn't give it to my sister. I think I think I gave it to my cousin. I'm fairly sure. He wanted a gaming PC, and I think I put that in it for him. I'm giving away so much shit. It's insane. I gave Roxy my 1080 Ti. I gave someone else a 2080 Super. I gave my 980 away. I gave an RX 580 away. My 750 Ti I gave away. Fucking hell, man. What an idiot. It's like two grand now. Make it look like a pickaxe. I just can't think of anything that would look cool in it. That wouldn't just be dumb as fuck. Do I want to give another GPU away? Not really, no. 750 Ti, what a legend of a card, mate. I went from a Radeon 6450 to a 750 Ti. Oh my god, what a beast. What a beast. That thing was nuts. Like back then there was no 90s. So it went up to 780 Ti's, which were just the bollocks. And I had a 750 Ti and I was gassed about it. And it was so good, man. I know, what a card. It was amazing. Um, You went from two 960s to a 4090. Holy shit, dropped. That's quite the upgrade. That is quite the upgrade. Oh, I don't even know, man. Do I just leave it like this? Do I just be really fucking boring and leave it like this? We could always just whack some lava, like, dripping down these. And just call it a day, like. You have a GT430 sitting behind you on your dresser. Ah. I mean, my Radeon 6450 is still in use today. It's in the NAS. And it still works wonders. What a beast. What kind, what kind of, like, thing are you a fan of you could draw inspiration from? I'm usually not shit at coming up with ideas for this sort of stuff, but I'm actually, I'm stumped with this mind. Absolutely stumped. Dragons are there for dabs. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Still repping a 1660 Ti. If you're 1080p gaming, solid card. Solid card. The columns from Dragon's Lair and Damsel. Let's have a look here. Dragon's Lair. Damsel? Just comes up with some blonde woman. Comes up with all this shit. 
I don't really know what I'm looking for. The only thing I can see is mildly pillar related. Where's that dude gone that I just saw? Uh, is this. Where it like comes up and over. Like that. Millie Bobby Brown one. What shall I search then? Oh, this chick. I don't see any sort of pillars here. I'm trying to think of what we could do for a cool, like, mind design that's going to, like, add something kind of sweet to it. I have no idea. Large lava pool in the middle. Uh, we did that last time, though, with the lava pool drop. That's the problem. A dwarven pillar. Let's have a look. What does that look like? Dwarven... Pillars. Yeah, something like this did cross my mind, to be fair. Something like this did cross my mind. Um, can you do it like Minecraft? I don't even know what that is, Nightwolf. Yeah, maybe some sort of like mini dwarven pillar, perhaps. The problem is these were really tall and detailed. I don't know how we could do something like that. We might be able to fit something like this in. Maybe. I yoinked the GT430 and an i5 10 400 out of your buddy's PC before I get rid of the other components. Build a NAS. Why not? Why not? Oh, we can just bullshit our way through this. We can just come up with something. Like, something like this, by the way, looks fucking sick. I'd love to build a mine like that. Let's just... The problem is there's no point. There's no point because you're never going to use that all that space. But it would look sick. Maybe that's just me being lazy, though. It must have been for video output, Tom. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, chat, thank you for watching. We will see you all live tomorrow. Take care. Stay awesome. Spam the channel of hearts. We're out of here. No, I'm kidding. Matt, thank you for the raid. Welcome. I'm joking. We're not actually ending, peeps. We're not actually ending. It's a joke. We're, we're still here. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Matt, thank you for the raids. Did you like my mouse, Mertz? I think I've come up with a million dollar idea. I don't really know how that even came about. I was talking about insomnia mouse mats. I was like, what can I sell? I was like, mouse mert. And then I decided to bring up paint and build a mouse mert. Then you can have door merts. Shower merts. Car merts. They have all sorts. I think it's a billion dollar idea. Right, chat. I reckon we just bullshit our way through something with stone bricks or something. Actually, deep slate bricks would suit it. We've got plenty of deep slate. Just totally release that and put profits to, insom to an insomnia meal. That's not going to work because it's going to make so much money that it's going to be way more than a meal. Mouse Mertz, is, that's a billion dollar company. At least. But I need to watch that fluff on his face. Look, Chris, you need to just come out and accept the fact. That I have a full-blown majestic beard. And it's here to stay. Oh, you're joking. Only cobble deep state. Are you fucking... Oh, no. I only have normal deep state. Oh, God. Look how much normal... Oh, I'm not mining it all again. I got a little bit of cobble. Ah. Uh... Fuck's sake. Beard is a stretch. No. 306 Matt. Don't come back in this channel after being away for so long and start being a bully. Google and actually some bearded folk themselves, of which I've forgotten. I believe John Bams was one of them. 
have declared it an official beer. So, everybody else's opinion is invalid. It's a, a smaller style of beard rather than a full-blown thing. But it's a bit. If I let it grow out, oh, fuck knows what state you would look like. But still. Okay. Goatee, I will accept. And what is a goatee? It's a type of beard. It's a type of beard, baby. Um... But this is going to look stupid because it's all. Is it going to look stupid? I don't know. Come with me. Uh... And I can do this when I'm thinking. Which you can't do if you don't have a beard. My beard looks a lot better in person. And when it's dark, it really stands out. You see? It looks a lot better in person. What do you mean, though? This is not true. Wait! I just realized all the cows are going to have grown up. We're going to go murder them. No, in person, it, it, look, it looks much better in person. But on camera, it always looks better when it's like a darker sort of atmosphere. Insomnia, it looks brilliant. Imagine about with a ZZ top beard. Burn up. Going down, down, down. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Bit of Lagrange, man. Oh, look at this. Right. How much? Oh, my God. How have you got out? We have escapees. Get in. Get in. In. What the fuck? Get in. Thank you. This way, sir. Squeeze out the glass at the bottom? Maybe. Buddy. Something in the pit. Fuck you. Get out of here. Right, how much is in the bottom here? Yeah, I imagine it was a baby that was half in the glass pane and then it grew up and just squeezed out the side. Makes sense. How much is in here? 41 and then a stack and a half of leather. And this one, I believe, is nothing, right? Nope, 11 and 9. Okay. Remember those numbers, people. Uh, I mean, on stream of the young years, it looked like ass. Uh, it did look fine in person, but where most people saw it, it was ass. Just... There's more here! What the hell? Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Let it all come on down. It's a shame you can't, like, add fortune to, like, an inspector. Well, while that all gets auto-sorted out, give me this. It is very satisfying. Okay. Set it out, cows. Come on. Got a lengthy beard now. I mean, I'm not a million miles away from a full face. I get the bits here. I get the bits down the sides and under. But there's like a little strip here that I don't quite get. And a little strip here that I don't get. As soon as that comes through, 
We're going to be rocking a full-blown beard. The biggest issue with full-blown beards, though, is I can't be arsed to maintain them. Does anybody here have a full-face beard that isn't just something you just let grow endlessly? And you actually maintain it? Because it seems like a hell of a lot of effort that I can't be arsed to. Laura! 63 months, welcome back. Thank you so much, hello, Laura. Hello. Hope you've been doing well. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Even if you did abandon me and Matt and something. Just like, you know damn well why we couldn't be there, bud. Guess we'll be able to be in uh, streams more starting in May. What's happening in May? All right, let's have a little look here. So this one was what? 41 and a stack and a half? Is that about right? A stack and a bit? Yeah, I guess that's about right. Got a new job. Damn. Good Lara. Lara's balling now, boys. And this was 11, so that was just over a stack. I feel like we're losing some to the fire. The problem is, I feel like we're losing some to the lava. I want to test something. Let me make a lever real quick. I want to test something. I need some sticks. The leaves drop sticks. Give me a stick. I need one more stick. What the fuck? Give me a stick. Why are sticks so rare? I'll be able to get the work from home most days, and it's more money. Hey, nice, Lara. Can't complain at that. More money and better place to work. You haven't been at your current one very long, have you? That's amazing. Congratulations. So let's do a test here. So if I was to kill these cows, that's there for a good amount of time, isn't it? But if I was to remove this and do this and go... Oh, that's going to be hard to do. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a lot longer. I think a lever might be better, you know. I don't know if it'll make much difference if... At all, but... Come on. Uh, I think they will die. I think the first bit of... Because they die pretty quickly just in the lava themselves. I think the fire will... Will kill them. Been your current since June. It's been that long already. Jesus. Is it at the same place? Or is it something completely new? I mean, that's a result, though. That is a result. And hopefully, on top of all that, it's considerably more money for you. Because that's even more of a win. Right. Back to what we were doing. Are oh, you working with Hayden now? Risky business. Risky business. Oh, hopefully it all goes well. I'll just move forward. Uh, he's gonna hate me. I don't know if I if I could ever work in the same place my missus did. Or like I feel like having that time apart is so important. But let's not let's not to say that sort of thing 
stops uh, relationships from thriving, because I also know the situations where it absolutely does. But it certainly ain't for me. Fuck, I didn't mean to come out of this. Uh, if you think it's lost to lava, I want to amend my previous suggestion where the baby cows are put... Where the baby cows are put half a slab over the hopper than the sign on the block above. So the half block babies are protected. Then put the lava dispenser so the lava stays above it. If the cows don't swim, they shouldn't be okay. Oh, that's not so bad, now. Same company. Okay, that's a bit different. That's a bit different. Post Wait. So this is what... Where the baby cows are, put a half slab over the hopper, which would be like we had here. And then a sign on the block above. This this is exactly what we've done here, Vandrop. So a half slab on the bottom. Well, that would just be a full block. See you later, Glow Watts. Have a good one, mate. Well, if we did that, that would be a full block, which would then the cows would be even more in the lava, meaning that more of their stuff gets burnt. Hold on. Stand by. So, you're saying a top slab, which is a full block. I don't know how this is going to work. But yeah, look, they won't even drop their stuff because they swim up into the lava. Wouldn't work. Would not work. And then this would be... Oh, we, were, we already tested the slab theory. It'd be good to have you in here more though, Lara. You're welcome to post an image in the Discord or something. We'll take a look at like, another day. Well, you had bottom slab originally. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh, I'm chat. I'm wrecked today, man. I'm so fucking tired. Right. Uh. Hmm. I didn't bring any like spare blocks. Let me quickly. Just find one of these to dig down. We might as well. Sure. Snow layers? Again, it won't make a difference. And I think the snow would probably melt. I think we've solved the issue anyway. Just It just has to be a quicker lava thing. I don't know if you can make a button go any faster. Is there any way to make a button activate even quicker? I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. Different materials? Wait. What? Different material buttons activate... Why does that sound like I've heard that before? Wait, 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 wait. Which ones are the quickest? Oh, God, there's loads. Oh, stone is the fastest. Hold on. Uh... Why have we done this button, you moron? Oh, yeah. That's way longer. Fuck. Yeah, that's crazy. I thought you meant I could get even quicker than stone. Don't worry. Uh, 
Is there still no way you can speed that up? Okay, we have a... Oh, here we go. Tough. This will do. It's quick enough to break. You can speed up a button. Yeah, I think you can. I think you're right. No, this sucks. I need dirt. Fucking hell, button. Just go and get dirt, you prick. Let's go. Is a note block faster? Flappy trapdoor against an observer, maybe quicker. Well, that'd be no different to me just doing an a lever, going bam, 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 bam. Actually, no, I can't do a flappy trapdoor because then cows will be able to get out of the thing. I have no idea if a note block is quicker, by the way. That's an interesting shout. Bum, 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 bum. Note block. Do you have to hit it, baby? Nope. That doesn't even emit a redstone signal. I thought these did. Or do they? Oh, maybe they only respond to it. Uh, they only respond to it. No block observer comparator. Oh, that might work. Yeah, that's a point. Why are we doing this? This is fucked. Right, whatever. Oh my god, look at that! Does that work with a dispenser? And can this travel through a block? So many weird things happening. That's actually interesting. Uh, can you? Hmm. Maybe we can delay it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Hmm. You need a clock. Uh, you need to clock it from start to stop it. So, ah, oh, this is where it gets a bit fucked. You're saying something on the lines of this. That straight in, and then. Oops. Hold fire. There we go. Oh God! <laughs> what? Well, I want it to trigger twice. So you go bang, it goes on, off. So. It just goes bang, uh, sorry, so it goes bang on, bang off, like that. That's it. Because that's, that's definitely enough to kill a cow. There's no way it's not. Cow. Oh my god, 
Freddy's he's gonna live. I know he's not. He's definitely gonna die. This seems like it's a really fucking easy solution. I mean, I could literally just go. But it'd be nice if I could just go. Oh, it did it. It is causing a loop. You're right. What if we go into a block? Like so. Whoops. This does seem like it's actually fixable. Bear with, bear with. Stand by, stand by, over, stand by. So that's just normal. Oh no, but the signal has to go off. And this is going to power that again. To make that. Fuck. I am overcomplicating this. Well, that just makes a loop. It should just be so simple. What, repeat is in parallel from this whole thing entirely? So you're saying... No, because it won't do... It won't just send the one. Infinite loop! No, but that's not going to double the signal. This is the point. You need a double signal. Not to hold the signal. You need two. You need it to go boom, on, off. Oh! I'm a fucking genius. I've solved it. I've literally just solved it. Nobody panic. Once again, button saves the day. God, I'm fucking good at this game. Uh, I've just solved it. I've just solved it in my own... You can't buy this level of genius. Bear with me. I'm a fucking genius. Turn that off. God, I'm good at this game. It's the first time I've ever done that with Redstone, and I feel unstoppable. Is it not to kill a cow? It is. Yeah, like that dude, I don't know how many state that dropped. Two cows have dropped six, and we've got like 50 cows. There's no way. We must be losing loads to lava. We've got to get rid of the lava quicker, and this solves the problem. And this only has to be on the first bit, because this can go as far down as you like, right? Yeah. Sometimes I frighten even myself with my genius. Now I just have to. Re oh, I understand it now. I understand. I didn't understand what was going on, but now I do understand what's going on. Do I have any spare repeaters? No. Yes. Um, chat, if anybody would like any redstone lessons, uh, you're welcome to come to me. I'm more than happy to help. Um, Mumbo Jumbo, some of you guys might watch him. He's about to be out of a career. I'd be terrified if I was him. I'm not checking Reddit links. The problem is solved. We don't need to complicate it any further or see any other alternatives. So we're gonna need more sandstone than what I bought, or whatever. I'll just go get it now, but you know you're gonna need more than tit. 
No! Nightwolf! Sturm! Sturm! The problem is solved. There's no need for more additional input. Get him out of here, mods. Get that perma man on. It appears solved. No, it is solved. I understand the mechanics. Um, uh, we're going to get a tutorial out on YouTube. So those of you guys who would like to learn how to do the whole red zone stuff yourself can watch along. So the signal comes... Oh, cock! It's ruined. Wait a second. Is it ruined? Hold on. This is going to require some button tuning. It's not actually completely ruined. Jukebox into an observia and then just put the redstone here. Nothing will be able to get out there. No, we're fine. Everything's safe. Don't worry. Yes, come to, calm down, Nightwolf. Chat, Nightwolf's panicking. He thinks that I'm incapable of solving these issues. Somebody just get him to calm down. Please, I can't do it with him anymore. Just, someone tell him to calm his fucking tits. Uh, we need two of these. Uh, to be fair, I can vouch for button tutorials. I used the Enderman Farm one, and it's so good. Hey, thanks, mate. That one actually, I think, did quite well on YouTube. Let's have a look here. If you don't subscribe to the YouTube chat, check it out. Check it out. Um. Uh, my channel videos. Uh, yeah, got seven thousand nine hundred views. Boom! I made money from YouTube, mate. I think I made a hundred dollars from YouTube in my whole YouTubing career, which is way less than what I've spent to create content on it. But there you go. <laughs> Um, right, so, you, up, oh, nobody get born, oh no, it's a disaster, it's all ruined, oh bollocks, we actually might have a bit of a situation here. Boom. Done. Didn't even see that coming. That observer is not picking up this block. Oh, because I'm not right-clicking it. Wow, that's weird. You right-click and it triggers, you left-click and it doesn't. Nobody panic. Now, this is where you get to see some amazing button red stuff. Night Wolf, you're doing it again, mate. Just chill. You don't need to panic. It's literally fine. Your panicking is not helping anybody. I understand you want this to work as much as I do, but you're panicking. Oh shit, it was already turned on. Um, cock. 
Uh, how do I get rid of this? There we go. That you type it in caps, no. That suggests panic. Does that not suggest panic to anybody else if you type in caps? If, you, if there's a fire, you don't type. Oh no, there's a fire. Help. You type. It's a fucking fire, mate! Help! See? Okay. That still works, even though the block's there. Cool! So now you just go, bam. Well, that'll do it. That was really exciting. You don't even have to listen to the sound. It can also be frustration. No, no, no. It was very obviously sheer pa No! You little bastard. No, there's no going back now, brother. No going back now. Hi, hi, butter. First time we're going to catch you live since starting my new job in November. Well, hi. Hope your job's been going well, sweetie. Still retained being a sub. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, we're doing a longer stream today. Um, I didn't realize it was quarter to four already. We're doing a longer stream today, though. Uh, and we've got a 12 hour show on Monday. Win win. Win win. Oh, look at that. Perfect as well. Was it four and one we did? It's literally that easy. I might start teaching my Minecraft genius to the world. And I have no idea how that staircase... Oh, it obviously starts further forward. Mm -hmm. The fact those aren't symmetrical is actually pissing me off. Bear with me. Much better. Right. So then you go, oh no, the cows need farming. Boom. Boom. Well, probably not, sweetie, but I hope your new job's been going well. I want all these cows to grow up now. I want to see these in action. I'm not sure, bro, but it doesn't matter because a cow is not a one-by-one -one block, so the cow will always be exposed to the lava. I'm not sure why some spots don't have lava. I have no idea. Oh. Actually, no, that, I don't know. I don't know why. I was going to say it's because of the repeaters, but it's not because we tested that that works. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't fire. doesn't matter, but I'm convinced we tested that and it definitely worked. So I'm not sure what's going on with it. I have no idea. Stay on now, cows. Come up. Yeah, again, I'm not going to bother fixing it because it doesn't matter. Like, the cow is not a one block wide mob, so it's fine. If it was chickens, it'd be an issue, but it's not. It's fine. 
All the babies dropped through. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, big cows. We have a big cow. Shouldn't they all grow up at the same time? I'm very intrigued to see how that's going to go, by the way. So the next time we do this, we'll have a test. It's not bad, apart from having to go back to, uh, back into the office. At least I get flexi time and an extra eight grand a year. Like eight grand a year? Woo! Sweetie's out here balling, chat. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, maybe. It doesn't matter. I'm excited to test that. Oh, goody. They eat to grow, to die, to eat the hamburger, fry cows while the A? What? Who's frying cows for hamburgers? I have no idea. Sleeping. Um. Oh shit, I meant to call my phone provider today. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Uh. Hamburg's a horse meat. Yeah, that's true. I have my Tesco for a while. But can I just say, even so, they were absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. I don't know, like, Tesco must have been fined for that, right? Must have been fined in some way for that. Right, let's have a look at what blocks look the best for this mine, then. Get it finished. The mine's boring me now. I'm, I'm, I've had enough of it. A lot, yeah. Look at that nuts. All I can say is horse is pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Um. Oh, I needed dirt. Fuck. This is shit. Yeah, I said, oh, have you seen the downfall of Liverpool since the United shit, man? Since that result against United, 3-0 at home, getting slapped by Atalanta. Devastating stuff. Beautiful to watch for a United fan. Devastating stuff. Watching the, uh, the Liverpool fans cry, man, it was just so good, man. So good. Where's that Anfield agenda guy? I don't know his name, but... Oh, he's so funny. He's so funny. Um, let me see if I can find it. Who did it? Oh, no, that's not it. There's the 88th minute when it was already 3-0. Nothing even happened. And he, the guy just loses his shit. Hold on, let me see if I can find this. Uh, Anfield. Agenda. Let me see if I can find the clip of him just losing his shit in the 80th minute. It's so funny. Uh... I don't know who tweeted it. Oh, it might have been Stokesy. Hold on, let me have a look. Uh, there, go back. This guy. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Just any United fans in here, just enjoy this. This guy is uh, obviously a Liverpool fan. Anfield agenda. He's doing a watch along. They're already 3 0 down. The game's finished. Watch him just fucking lose his shit. It's so good. <laughs> Nunes isn't good enough. We need a new attack. 
So we asked you guys, did we underestimate Atlanta? And there's 88. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. God. Okay. <laughs> Nunez isn't good enough. We need a new attack. So we asked you guys, did we underestimate Atlanta? And there's 88. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh god i love it so good liverpool tears are just beautiful hey reese is here how'd you get on bud oh man beating atlanta at home isn't for everybody don't worry oh god amazing uh who would you rather see win the pram arsenal city or liverpool um if I had to choose, I, I don't like any of them, right? Don't like any of them. But it would have to be Arsenal. Because Liverpool would match 20 titles, even though most of theirs is Div 1 from centuries ago. Um, they'd match the 20 titles. City would do a 4 Pete. although then again, if City win it, it's going to be all irrelevant anyway, because 115 charges, whatever. Um, I like Arsenal as a team. I actually do like Arsenal as a team. I respect Arsenal as a team. What I can't stand is Arsenal fans. Arsenal fans might be worse than Liverpool fans. Like, they're actually just insufferable. Uh, I hate Arsenal fans. They're just the worst. They're so up themselves, it's crazy. And they've won fuck all. Some of them are okay. But the majority of them are just a nightmare. Like, I was in a pub in London for a friend of mine's birthday. And Arsenal were playing. And it was to go above Liverpool. Even though Liverpool had a game in hand and were playing the next day. It was to go above Liverpool. They won the game. And they were all jumping around going, we are top of the league. And it's like, Liverpool have a game tomorrow against Sheffield United. Like, it's irrelevant. They're just insufferable, man. And I was on the train going up. Because the Arsenal game was at the Emirates. I was on the train going up. And these two guys sat behind me were talking about the Fury versus Usyk fight. And they were like, when is it? And they were like, oh, it's the day after we lift the title. I just wanted to turn around and punch him. Like, what a fucking arrogant prick. Was, oh, man. It was just awful. They just, they're the worst. They actually are worse than Liverpool fans, I think. They're so, so bad. Um, nothing, Grinch. Nothing, mate. I think Arteta deserves a title. <sighs> Probably, yeah. So if I had to pick one, it'd be Arsenal to win the league. United fans are the same. We absolutely aren't. We don't win something and go with the best team in the world. Like, but Arsenal fans have won nothing. And it just, oh God, it's just crazy. They won an FA Cup five years ago and are just going nuts. Like, it's just ridiculous. Um, apparently, the horse meat scandal wiped over 300 million off Tesco's market value. Damn. I mean, if they want to, you know, fucking sell that over here, they're welcome to do that. Okay, bricks definitely makes the most sense here. I know, Garrett. It's literally crazy, mate. I just don't understand it. Two years and they've won nothing. Don't get me wrong, they've got a fantastic squad, and I like their squad. But the fans themselves are just... Oh, my God. They're just the worst. Yeah, you can't help but feel bad for Everton fans, man. Must be shit. So close to relegation as well, mate. And they don't deserve relegation. I'd love Everton to stay up, but... Um, 10 might be too many, you know. Yeah, I think that's probably too much. 
If we beat Coventry and City beat Chelsea in the FA Cup, you're going to have PTSD. The way we're playing at the moment, we'll easily lose it as well. Do you know what I want to happen? I want us to do a typical United, lose to Coventry. Coventry go to the final. Chelsea somehow beat City. I gave him a good game in the Prem, to be fair. Chelsea beat City. And then it's a Chelsea Coventry final, and Chelsea have a stinker, and Coventry win it. I would fucking love that. It'd be awesome. It'd be absolutely awesome. It's actually not a million miles from a reality. <laughs> like, Chelsea did give City a game of the Prem, for all. Who knows? Could they do it in the FA Cup? Nobody knows. United, it would be a United thing to do to bottle it against fucking Coventry. And it would also be a Chelsea thing to do to be have an absolute stinker and lose the Coventry. So it's not actually outside the realms of possibility. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad if it happened. It'd be so good. I'd go out on the pitch with the Coventry people. Yeah, something like this could work. Are you an Evertonian, uh, Metis? Up the toffees. Something I found out the other day about Everton, which I never knew, is apparently they used to actually come out with big buckets of toffees during the game and throw the ball into the crowd. And they can't do it anymore because somebody got hit in the eye with one. Isn't that sad? Not that they got hit in the eye. Just how fucking cool it is throwing toffees out. And it got ruined because someone got hit in the eye. Better win tomorrow. Bournemouth's a hard game, man. I hope we win. But, uh... My concern if we lose is the pressure on Ten Hag, man. I don't want Ten Hag to go. I love Ten Hag. I think he's fucking brilliant. His youth development is absolutely unmatched. It's just insane. Mainu, Ganacho. Hoyland's doing really well now. Fucking. Who's that other kid that's come through? Kambala, Kambala, something like that? Kambala. He's doing really well. His youth development's insane. I think you give him time. And you look at like the, the first four seasons of Klopp and Arteta. Like they struggle. Fourth. I think Arteta was like seventh, fourth, fourth, sixth. Second or something like that. I think you give ten hard time, man. We'll be laughing, but probably most United fans want success now because of the olden days, and they need to accept that we aren't the team that we used to be. We're not. We never, probably never will be, as long as the Glazers are in charge. But if they can accept that. Just give a manager time. We've got new structure coming in. And I genuinely believe if we get fucking Southgate, I will... I won't watch United. I just won't watch them anymore. I probably will. That's a lie. I'll, I'll, I will want to kill myself if we sack Ten Hag and bring in fucking Southgate. Everyone just wants another Fergie. It's a rare case. Oh, I don't think you'll ever see it again. Like, what he did, I don't think you'll ever see it again. I think the sport has come so far now, and it's so, so, so in-depth. I don't think what he did will ever be repeated, personally. Um... I don't have a crafting table on me. I'd like to try stairs. Do we have? I, mate, I have no idea how any of us have come to the fucking conclusion that Gareth Southgate is the man to take United forward. If that is true. If that's true, I'm any of us out all the way. He's won nothing with arguably the best team in the world. 
with that alien squad. Mm, we can get some more details in here at some point. Huh? Southgate does love Maguire. I mean, Maguire does quite well for England. He actually has been doing quite well for United recently as well. Since he got the captaincy taken off him, he's actually... Seems to be more focused. Which is good. Hmm. We're going to get more detail in here, but I think we're on to something. Go ahead out. Have a good rest of the stream. Take care, man. United indeed. Man's a goat. He is. Well, people also base it off with... Well, I mean, what he did at United was fucking phenomenal. But we also got to look at what he did with like, Aberdeen and shit. Like, it's incredible. The fact that anyone compares Pep to him is a fucking insult. Pep's had arguably the best midfield ever. At what he had at Barcelona. Bayern, just a juggernaut in Germany. A Man City with an absolutely unlimited checkbook. He's never done it with like a small, like an Aberdeen or like a Roma, like Jose or something like that. ST Jelana! Bosh! That's a good idea, Bish. Remind me about that Monday. ST Jelana! Thank you so much for the 40 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, folks, I've got a skedaddle. I got to skid out of it. I did say we'd do a longer stream today because I'm not here on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you. You're all absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the bits we've had today. All the subs. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A nice longer stream today. It's been good fun. And hopefully we do more of them in the future. Monday is a 12-hour marathon. Amy's asked me to take a look at it for today. I haven't had a chance yet, but I will do. Uh, Monday is a 12-hour marathon. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. UK time. Look at your clock. Go back seven hours from now is when we'll be starting. 12-hour batonathon to celebrate 100 on the streak. If we hit 150, we'll be doing a 15-hour stream. 218 hour, 250 is 21-hour. 324-hour. So it's all up there. It's all at the discretion of chat, but we shall see. Thank you for the 8 bits, Dos. Appreciate it. Hey, ended on 69. Uh, but make sure you follow the Twitters. I always tweet when I go live. Instagram for is my personal life. YouTube for clips and skits. VODs for anything you may have uh, missed. TikTok is going to start having some more content coming on it soon. So make sure you check out the TikTok as well. Give it a follow. Um, is anybody live to go say hi to? I have no idea. Let's take a gun there. Gun there. I feel like there's been no one live on a raid recently. but um, John is on. Uh, Rob is on. Oh, there's quite a few people on today, actually. Um... I mean, we're never live at this time, are we? Hey, Happy Chef. Let's cook it away. Are we ready to cook Happy Chef? Let's go inside of John. We don't get to raid John very often. Wait, is Chosen on? Where's Chosen? He is. I love Chosen. We don't get to say hi to him very often. Let's go say hi to him. Let's go say hi to him. Uh, please copy this raid message chat. Go over and say hi to my man, Chosen Architect. Uh, we'll be live again on Monday. I'm not here this weekend. I will be back on Monday, though, with a 12-hour baton of dawn. So make sure you come by for that. Spam the channel of hearts your way out. Feel free to show the love to this epic community. Go say hi to my boy, Chosen. Join that raid at the top of the chat. And we will see you all live again tomorrow. Take care, chat. Much love. And until then, peace out. Bye, everybody! Oh, 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 oh.